O's dad. Mm-hmm. Hey, boys. Oh, hey, is that... Hey, what up, baby? Is that yes. moistened critical strikes? Yes, sir. Hail, hey, traveler. Yeah, it was a bit dry in here. I'm going to need that name to be, like, on point tonight, because we're going to need some crits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, not worried about it. You guys are in the slam factory right now. Yay! Easy. Thankfully, the Goker no longer has a leech problem. Isn't that a Pornhub channel? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What did you say? Oh, the Slam Factory. No. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Who are you? Mm -mm. Your friend. Mm -mm. Whoa, that. Let's. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's yeah. Strong yeah. Word. yeah. That's a strong yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely friends. <laughs> we 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 having labels now? Oh yeah, shit. Right? Oh that my was not God. a backstory that we. We don't label upon, things. Taka. We won't know how much they're worth. No labels them. I, I hope Lilith turns out to be Deckard Kane Frog Head, oh, or, or Fish Head. <laughs> surprise, fuck face. It was I. Ah, you thought Kane. I was a sexy lady woman beast, but no, it is just an old man. Well, the end of, well, the end of the, the Diablo mobile game is just like the end of like you know the end of. Silent Hill, except it's... You mean the end of Diablo? Leaders. Because they made a mobile game? Ooh. You don't have phone? God. We don't, we're not going to talk about that. Ah, that's true. Man, but look, hey. I feel really bad for that guy, because, like, they... Here, I need you to introduce this. A mobile nah, you, game? You gotta, Get you out gotta, there. You deal, with, you deal with the hand you're giving. Dude, that and... crowd was angry before he even got out there. You could uh, tell. It was so uh... bad. <laughs> Bro, he got out there, and he's just like, Hey, guys! You were hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we got a Diablo game that's on your phone. No, stop! No, he should have no, no, taken that heel heat. My Diablo. He needed to take that heel heat and turn the crowd uh, against. Uh, <laughs> he, he really needed what? to rework the crowd. The Dude, Rock could have spun that. He could have. Heel what? Heel who? Like of the shoe? Dude, yes, Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson. Dude, he 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 was just like, don't you guys have phones? Like. That was that was the that was the comment of a panicked man. He was yeah, he had nothing. He was what out on the stage. Phone? People like, were sir, pissed. He could feel their energy. They were waiting to consume him. I genuinely felt bad for the dude. Yeah, like I, I was just like, ah, oh, he sounded like the nicest dude, didn't they? Like, uh, that guy goes back, sits down, just looks suffering at the wall, rethinks his career choices. Well, because he'll live with that well. for. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> He'll always be the Diablo phone guy. Yep. You joke, but I hope he presents the next Diablo thing. And he has this redemption. They, like, they give him a redemption arc. like, hey guys, here's Diablo 4 <laughs> with <laughs> a no, bunch of features. You guys don't have Super Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. That's right, everybody. Yo, holds, holds you the guys don't Nintendo got the Wii U? Diablo 4, you get to blow on it again. <laughs> They have a riot cage prepared just to push back the crowd. Like riot guards are pushing him back. Hey guys, are just goading them more? Yeah, throws a couple of Nintendos at him. So I, I am a firm. <laughs> hey guys, we've been hard at work at the new Diablo. Uh, it's made specifically for the Sega Saturn. If you guys, <laughs> I no, no, the Sega CD. The Sega Ooh. CD. <laughs> now that's niche. Oh no, uh, dude. We're looking for the Jaguar. Do you have the? Ja uh, we're looking for the. First generation Dreamcast. Talking oh. all of its bugs, only way the game works. Oh no. See, the only people who lo think that like having cartridges again would be cool are people who didn't have to deal with cartridges as a Yeah, child. exactly. Yeah. They're like, man, it'd be so cool if we went back to cartridges for like a nostalgia thing. I'm like, no, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> no, how you about say this? That because you've never had to sit there for 15 minutes trying to play a game going <laughs> and doing like the cleaner solution thing where you had to pull it in, pull it out. Yep. Ugh. And, you know, how about this? Just no physical copies of games, because that's just something that can break. Hello! Clap. Hello! Hey. Sorry, travelers, Ooh. for my lateness. It's all Party good. Man. You good, homie. Hail, traveler. All right. Let's get this Hail. show on the road. Everybody in the map tools? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, guys, who brought the do? Some people are not in map tools. Oh, shit. Uh, that's, that's a lie. I'm, I'm in map tools. Yeah, what? I'm in map tools too. Uh, I'm yeah, right I here. see you. He just, yeah, I see you. Stands in doorway, watches. <laughs> Editor's note: They weren't. <laughs> Editor's note: They weren't. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, 
so in my blanket tweets of seeing who wants to play D&D, somebody actually added me um, on Twitter yesterday, and it was a wrestler. Oh, who okay. added you? Oh, let me guess. Is it Mojo? No, it was um, yeah. a chat. Who was it? I don't remember his name. Uh, he was in AEW. Okay. Oh, right. okay. Think... Brandon Cutler? No, it was um, Brian Pillman Jr. Brian oh! Pillman Jr. Flying Brian Pillman Jr. I love Brian yeah. Pillman. Yeah. yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. He was like, bro, I want to play some D&D, brother. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like how everybody's That's generic the, wrestler the, voice is either Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man. I, 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 I mean, the we got to lean more on Macho Man nowadays. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm dead, but I'm still awesome. I'm like, oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, but he said he Macho wanted man. to he wanted to play D&D, &D, and he was like, I could also bring in some other e AEW people. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, they well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of a there's a lot of D and D nerds in that company. So oh God, Brian yeah. Pillman Jr. Would, would be a good Cut fit. Cutler would play. Actually, so Taka, the list my buddy on. made Cutler's music. Oh, your buddy made Cutler's music. <laughs> yeah, like he's awesome. like D and D styled music. <laughs> Oh That's my god! Fun. Yeah. Well, actually, my, my one of my one of my buds on Twitch actually just uh, debuted on AEW Dark. So. Oh yeah, uh, Marty. Yeah, Marty the Moth Casal from uh, Lucha Underground. Cause yeah, host. Yeah. It's a it's a wrestler game. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a monk, and they just keep elbow dropping all of my enemies. <laughs> You're gonna have to look up some wrestling terminology, dude. Are you gonna get super lost with? <laughs> oh no, I'll, I'll I'll get in there. I'll get in there. Uh, they'll work you into a shoot. Wrestling's dude, just larping. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. it is. I mean, it, it's a it's adult drama for males. <laughs> adult drama for males. For males. <laughs> for men. Wrong, 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 no, 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 no. General seen, Hospital, we go watch you, Monday Night Raw. I don't, I don't think you've seen Brian Pillman Jr. It's not just for men. The ladies enjoy uh, what they're seeing, too. <laughs> well, you know, when you got it, flaunt it. Anyway, last time on Lost at Sea, you had wandered your way through the Brambled Hollow. And after dealing with oh. a mafia of leeches that I totally did off the top of my head, uh, you guys dealt with that problem. And then you have traveled further into the this labyrinthian contortment of vines and jungle. And here, enemies have appeared. And thus, a harrowing wind begins to blow. All right, we're going to pick right back up with combat, baby. Picking up with combat is stressful. Mm-hmm. So stressful. All right, which more are we getting today? <laughs> I'll let you know in like when, five minutes. Which Mori are we getting today? My to favorite paid. Mori is my, professional it, Mori. <laughs> doing shit Mori is by far best Mori. Hawaiian vacation Mori is my I favorite. I would like to point out Ludwig. <laughs> I will be effective Mori. even if I can't hit shit because I have... Tank abilities. He will just live forever, which is great too. Yeah. I mean, you don't say that before we get into a maybe, fight, please. Maybe. Those are famous last no, words. No realm where you die is what I'm trying to say. The best Ludwig, Ludwig, I need you to not. Winter is coming, me. I feel like you're misunderstanding me. You're not gonna die, and it'd be a shock if you did. Oh Jesus, you're man! Right. Could uh, could you imagine yeah. how what? subverted my expectations would be if you died? Oh man, that that would be a subversion, all right. Why do Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> wow. Alrighty, let me get you some tunes. This Dark Knight Rises this. Oh, I will break my... <laughs> I wondered what would break first. Even before Joker stabs me in the back. <laughs> Yo, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 I won't stab, I won't stab. That's oddly specific. Yeah. <laughs> I won't stab. Reaches for mallet. I got so many TFS references, dude. It's like, I will uh... not punch you. Oddly specific. <laughs> I... <laughs> Oh God! Yes, all day. I got. Uh, comes uh, back to haunt you. It will be with me forever now. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> back of my hand, swear to God. <laughs> all right, let me get this together. All right, let me get you. I think they made a new. Um... Oh, uh, there's two Stinkler Smellgore fan themes. That they're working on right now, so that's a thing oh. that's happening. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we got to get Stomp to do it. Like how these trash cans. All right, here's here is a fancy new little song, a little battle battle theme for you guys. Ooh, new one. Yeah, Ooh. yeah they've been cracking. Do the bot can cooperate. I hope so. 
I don't believe you. No Ooh. way. That's called Hell now yeah. or never. You can't escape from crossing fate. Ha! <laughs> can't escape from crossing fate. Rebel one, action. Go, Mori. Oh God. Uh. Okay. You got it, Mori. I do. Uh. Okay. Let's uh. Let's handle some business. So we just rolled initiative, correct? Yep. I loaded it for you guys. Uh, can I use my uh, focus power to... Uh, I used to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Uh, all right. So you will see Mori dash uh, almost so quickly that he leaves behind a shadow of his former self. He's going to run forward and take that free swing. And if I hit, it's a crit. Which one? Uh, the one directly in front of me. Okay. Uh, so this guy. Uh, all right. Please, Mori. It's a 22. Ooh, that's a hit. Roll again for the damage calculation. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's another seven. All right. Total of 17, 17 total. damage. Get him. Uh, All right. And then I would like to use a free. Oh, just wait. So now we're back to the top of the order, right? Yep. Now we're at the actual start of the start of the round. Yep. Got it. So now I'm going to hit him again. Uh, here we go. Get it. 23. Total of 23 uh, damage. Woo! <laughs> Good shit. Oh my god. Get him! Uh, and then I'm going to use my free action to speak. I will hold off these three. Take care of the other three. Nice. That's, that's the most Chad like thing I ever heard in my life. Stinkler! I'm a little concerned. He did a ton of damage and he still seemed pretty healthy. What if we devised a plan to get them to fall down the waterfall? We're, oh, all the way there? It's a lot of movement. They'd have to travel 60 moves. Yeah. You have to make, like, a big slide. That's what I was thinking. I still have mold earth, and I have two greases left, maybe? Something with that? We could all group up over there, but I think Mori My will attract... My thought process was if we cut the battlefield in it, like, if you four focused on those three, you'd be able to hide in the hedges, and then we could funnel them in there. There's probably mm -hmm. a way to do it. I, I, think you're, I think you're thinking with a good head. Yeah, I mean, how tall are the hedges? Can we trap them in there if we get them there and I just bring up mold earth and like kind of put a tomb in there? Uh, well, which which ordering are you wanting to do that in? Oh, well, I'm just curious. Like, are these hedges tall enough where if we did lock so them in? So these these tight? hedges go up towards the um, uh, well, not the ceiling, but they go up about twenty feet or so. Uh, they're they're also plants and all of that, you know, all that good stuff. So they're walls effectively. Uh, however, they're not solid walls. If an enemy wanted to get through it, it would slow them down, but they I could see. get through it. They're not Don't stone or anything. Yeah, we should black those three off or something. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm. Maybe I'll set up like a mold earth here and make like a giant rock wall here, buy us some time to fight the other three. That, yep, that was the that's the goal. Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, I'll do mold earth right on my character's mark. Also, just to kind of make sure that this isn't too confusing, um, this is supposed to be higher ground. Like, this is higher ground because the waterfall is going down. Oh, oh it's down. Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's oh, up, and this is down. Got it. Sorry, it's take... it's difficult to show that. Uh, no, that makes sense, plane. though, because that because if we would have led them over there and thought it was going up or rather down, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's up. We just gave him a shower. Oh, I just saw that visually, and now I can't see the reverse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. I feel that. Uh, quick question: I I have deselected my character, and I don't have his character sheet up on the right side anymore. How do I get that back up again? Uh, click on him. Yeah. Does it pop up? Nope. All right, go to top left-hand corner. Yeah. Go, go to um, window. Go down to selected. Is that check marked? Uh, no, I got it now. Thank you. All right, there you go. And go bango. Thank you very much. All right, Stinkler, what you got for me? Uh, I'll start with the partial check and then do that plan. Okay. Do it. All right, I learned nothing and, in fact, hurt myself thinking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you tried. <laughs> Where okay. was I? I was trying to start out a game. All right, so uh, right here, I'd like to use Mold Earth, like where my character's icon is, to cut them off. All right, so 
Okay, so oh, how yeah, much? Wait, I, can, I can point right here. Okay, let me let me draw that in. Yeah, that should be big enough to like side to side this, right? Ten feet. Uh, yeah, I could give you. It could give you ten feet. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that let should just... be good. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay, and that's my action. So then I'll just move over here and get ready to help. Durst. Ah! Holding onto his hat, he just targets one of the to one of those dead. Uh, I'm gonna target number twelve, coughing dead. I'm gonna hit him with a toll the dead. Okay. Twelve wisdom save. Twelve wisdom save against the coughing dead. The hurt one. Ooh. Yeah. That will succeed, unfortunately. Curses. Damn, okay, well, if, uh, well, then, yeah, it passes. Uh, it ends my turn. Coots. Okay, um, so, do you have Mold Earth in front? Do, do you guys have any, what should I do? <laughs> I uh, to help Moria, that's what I'm Yeah, thinking. if you can get up here, or better yet, yeah, if you can move, like, your full movement and then throw, like, your dagger or something. Because okay, you have okay. projectiles, right? Uh, I think I just have the dart I can throw once. Uh, you have uh, you have ten darts and ammunition. Okay, yeah. Oh, I, well, there you go. So get up here and start chucking darts. Darts, darts, baby. darts are like, um, kind of like shurikens. You know, you oh, have oh. Like, you can do multiple in a turn. I thought it was just one. Oh no, no, you can only throw one at a turn, uh, one right. at a time. But you have that many darts to throw. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me. I was just looking through my key options. I don't think I'm so uh, close combat. All right. I'm gonna move up here and. Ooh, can I do a. Um, Marshall? Like, Marshall, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. On the um, voiceless screamer. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Ooh. All hey, right, good job. Beautiful. Um, All right, what you are able to determine is that these creatures have a powerful melee attack. That if both attacks hit, they silence the enemy. Jesus Christ. Ow. Uh, wow. A silenced character cannot use their voice uh, in order to communicate with their allies or, most notably, cast spells. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought, si yeah, I, I, I knew silencing was the second part. I didn't realize it was what the word meant. Uh, okay. All right. That is not great news for you, Mori. No, well, it is great news for me because I'm not a caster as of right now, so it could be well, worse. You can't talk to us, I think, right? Isn't that? I guess that is fine. true. That is, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna use my dart on uh, Voiceless Screamer three. Okay. Let's go, Coots. Throw that shit again. <sighs> All right, guys. I I'm just gonna try my best. Ooh. All right, and that is against this one. That one will miss, unfortunately, as it oh, strikes could... against its outer hide. Hold up, guys. I think I have oh. another dart I can throw, maybe? <laughs> no, try no, not to... No, my try backpack, not to no, you, you, no, you can with a throwing right. weapon. You can use your bonus action to throw another dart. Oh, wait, I can? You can, yeah. Oh, so I can do dart. another same dart? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's an offhand. Kobe. Yes, I Kobe. All right, all right. I'm, I might have missed the first one, guys, but I never missed twice. Kobe! Oh. Yeah! Yes! Let's go, Kobe! Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Kobe, that, baby. That does do less damage, though. But it does hit. <laughs> That's all right. I hit him real good, guys. <laughs> hey, every little bit helps. Nothing but net. Boom. Oh, you, you really blasted him. guys. Coker. Uh, all right, all right. Can I get? What is the range on my thunder wave move? Uh, thunder wave is a ten foot area around you. Here, I'll draw that for you so you can see it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I was adjusting something there. Okay, let me get that thunder wave. Let me draw what that looks like for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Maury, do you have this? <sighs> you can't talk, remember? No, I'm not silenced yet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Wait a second. 
Uh, you're really talking a lot, dude, right All now. Right, it's I a, really feel it's you. It's a 15-foot cube around you, so it will look... Sorry, drawing burst Talk, templates. I'm about difficult. to shoot cutter you. It looks no, like you this. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty big. Whoa. Look at the range what on that bad do? boy. So I would have to get, like... Like, up here. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 where'd they go? Oh, we're, yeah, where'd that? I told you, I just you had to look go out for the Go, Kers! I did it! Oh, there they are. There they go. There they go. Uh, Sorry. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Let me hear, I'll, I'll bring you back. There you go. Sense of deja vu hit. There you go. <laughs> so, could I, how, how far can I move in a turn? 30 feet. Oh, 30 if, feet, okay. If you still want to cast. And remember, Thunder Wave uh, hits your allies as well as your enemies. Right. Have to flank him. Please remember yeah. that. I was trying to get behind. I was trying to get <laughs> behind. He's like, yeah, but what if I just like don't like Mori? Is it okay? Like, <laughs> well, here, here's, here's the thing. Please like, remember oh. that. <laughs> Mori will remember. All right, I'll I'll do vicious mockery. Okay. Hit him uh, where it hurts. Screamer three. What do you say to him? Uh, this is Screamer 3. Uh, I haven't s seen an enemy this bad since uh, Vicious Screamer 4 showed up. Hey! Got him? The fourth one was a prequel. It sucked. I made it! Your jokes have no effect on me, Goker, I say without a voice. Shit. My jokes have no effect on this guy. <laughs> My jokes have no That's effect on oh, no. They're bangers, too! <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. I'm a little demoralized, honestly, from just overhearing it. There! <gasps> Gasps. Humorless! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Anything I'm gonna else? I'm do a martial check, I guess. Go ahead. Bam. Uh, nothing with that one. You uh, have a bonus action as well if you want to throw out your bardic inspiration. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, who's getting the finger crossbows? Uh, Mori. Mori, you feel inspired as the Goker gives you some finger crossbows. Bardic inspiration, your meaning. All right. He attacks the wall. He attacks the wall. You can't get through. You can't get through. You dumb as hell. You never get through there. It's like that Borat scene. They start clawing at the plants. And they are just generally yeah, useless. There. Hell yeah. That'll stop them. All right. Well, wish me luck. Time to be... Fucking awesome. All right, Voiceless Screamer 2 will hurl back both of its uh, mighty claws and attempt to cut down Mori. Well, two strikes for 14 damage. Ow. Oh. I know you won't disappoint us all. Again. Man, that was a hot roll. Ooh. That was a very good roll. Ouch. Okay, 14 yeah. damage, and Mori is silenced as the creature grasps his throat. Oh, my God. This one oh, Rory, back. What happened? Both of his fucking claws go back. Another hot roll. A strike for eight damage. Ow. Mori falls to the bad? ground. Jesus. <laughs> this well. one will move past Mori and attack the Goker. Uh -oh. Goker's AC is 14. That'll be one strike for eight damage against the Goker. Oh, hit. <laughs> Mori, make me a death saving throw. Okay. Uh, it's a seven. One fail. Yup. Stinkler. Okay. Okay, we have health potions, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I can kill Screamer number three. 
if one of you can save Mori with a health potion, what do we think? What do we think? I can definitely, I can definitely give him a potion. I, I got one, and I'm quick, and I'll get in, and I'll get out. Durst okay. is also just a straight up healer, so he can. That's true. Do I'm that. trying to remember how many spell slots I had from last week. I don't remember. Uh, remember. Did you use any spells last week? No, he didn't use any spells. Yeah, you got all of them. <laughs> Wait, oh no, shit! A, okay, well I'm gonna trust you guys on this one. No, your AC is wrong. For some reason, you're eight. I'll fix it. Okay, I'm thinking, wrong. I'm thinking I'm going to catapult Screamer number three. I've got a good feeling about all of the trash in here. This this small little pond here is very polluted. Lots of beer cans and shit, so I'm feeling good. I'm going to catapult Screamer three. Okay. All right, mob saving throw. Let's see if he can avoid it. His disadvantage on deck saving throw. It doesn't matter. All right. Woo. Eight catapult damage as you strike against the creature's body. <laughs> Creature does not fall. Hardy. Difficult to destroy. God damn it. All right. We, we're going to need... However, to kick in. let's see if it happens. Marshall. Oh, oh right. Not today. Fuck. Okay. okay. I'll finish with the Marshall check. Okay. Well, that's rough. Unfortunate. Would you like to move? Um, yeah. Um, let me come over here to get them away from the gang. See if they'll come after me since my health pool's kind of big. I'll get like over here. Out of his aggro range. Alrighty. Durst the first. Ow, my god, again! I hit him with a... Oh, I'm trying to Cure Wounds or Healing Word, the ranged one. I'm trying to remember which one. I think Cure Wounds is a ranged one. Cure Wounds is touch. Cure uh, Healing Word is ranged. I'm going to be hitting uh, Mori with a Healing Word. Hooray. Clap. Six. All right, hey, Mori. Right. Up. Your eyes open, Mori. <sighs> Wake up, samurai! <laughs> we got a city to burn. We have a city to make money! <laughs> Just in time. And that ends my turn. Coots. Okay, so, so Mori's alive, but not at Correct. full health, right? Okay. And I have the... Potion... Basic potion, and then the... I have the Frost Giant Strength potion, no? Is it on your uh, token notes? Yeah, we gave it to you specifically. Oh, yeah. I do think I have that, yeah. Yeah. We are Marshall. Do I go dumb hard? I mean, that's totally up to your character if he would do that. But I don't know what's what else is out there other than these guys. You don't think these guys are worth it? I wonder if there's well, an even more powerful Dracula later. I don't. Mori did get one shot. It doesn't get a lot stronger than that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Too. Technically, three shot. But... Well, depends yeah, how it sexy was, the three hits. And I and rolled very hard. Hits. I rolled pretty hot with high. Yeah, damage. that was that was. I was not expecting him to roll. That, that was more bad luck exactly. than anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll hold on to it for now, and uh, for my turn, I will. Uh, how close do I have to be to Mori to use a potion on him? Uh, adjacent. Next to him. Adjacent. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you have to feed it into him. Before you do this, though, Coots, I think uh, if you uh, pass that enemy, he's going to attack. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's it's only if you exit my threatened area. Oh. So if you were mm -hmm. here and you tried to move here, I would hit you. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. I, I'm going to move in. Uh... <sighs> oh, God. Okay. Mori, uh, I'm going to come save you. I use uh, my potion on Mori. Okay. The regular healing potion? Yeah. Okay. Eight healing potions. Oh, Max. Woo! Nice. Big heals. Big heals. Big heals. Big heals, baby. Good clutch. All and right. And then, am I close enough in range to use an unarmed attack on Voices Screamer 3? You sure can. I would like to use my unarmed strike on him. Coot slides in through the water, tosses a potion to Mori. 
and kicks this thing in the shoulder, doing no damage at all. It's kind of like an old pal. Hey, what's up, voice of screamer? Yo, what, what up, man? I haven't seen you forever, bro. Hey. Put it up with a hand on the shoulder. Hey. You look good. You look good, man. The Goker. Uh, oh, you got something else you want to do, Coots? Sorry. Uh, oh, um, uh, I'm nervous about getting lit up. Um, I am able to use one of my two key points for Step of the Wind to get out of here, right? You could if you had a bonus action, but you used it to attack. Duh, okay, all right. Yeah, then I'll just sit here and die. Thank you, that ends my turn. <laughs> <laughs> go, Kurt, well, go. All right. Uh... Dang, I could try to get way far away and try to thunder hit these dudes. I'll just go and stab this guy. Mm. Stab him with the dagger. Before you do that, if you move in that direction, you'll provoke from this guy because you have to exit his area in order to get there. Oh. I'll just go up to this guy then. If you want to hit him, you can just move there and you'll be fine. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'll go there. There you go. And then hit Screamer 3 with the dagger. Get him! King! No. Well, shit. Any other finger guns? Uh, can I do my bardic inspiration again? Mm-hmm. You got two more uses of that. I'll do that on Coots. Coots? Coots is now inspired with finger crossbows. Ba -ba. Nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, under the other side of this wall... <laughs> this is why I wanted to cut the field in half, because they would have kicked our ass. Oh, lost, yeah. yeah. They start pounding on the on the mudded wall. It starts to give way a bit. You can see Durst, Durst their, sweating. their undead hands and claws making it through the the, the muddy barricade. Master! Uh, They're you, cutting through! You don't think it'll last much longer, Durst. This one will attack Coots. Please miss. Mrs. And they will both miss as Coots Woo! deflects the claw attacks ah. with his superior nice. martial prowess. This one will attack the Goker. No. The Goker. Oh. Unfortunately, this one rolls hot and strikes the Goker true, lifting the Goker off the ground and starts to choke him. The Goker will take 17 damage. Okay. Oh. All right. Should be fine. I gotta use the frost giant potion. <laughs> yeah, now I think now the Joker I think we falls have to, use to it. the ground. Who is this guy, the Choker? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. This one moves He's here. Funny on his deathbed. And he will attack Stinkler. <laughs> All right, a seventeen. Here we go. It comes flying at uh, Stinkler with six damage. So something to keep in mind that you have as a Goliath Stinkler, is you have the ability to, once per long rest, resist damage. Okay, this is only for seven damage, so I, I think I'll just take You're going to take uh, well, six damage, but you're just going to take that? All right. Yeah. I'm that's fine. That's fine. Hey, you're just going to take that? No, I'm just, just making sure he knows his <laughs> abilities. That's all. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Slam. Feels good. Mori. All right. Uh, I am going to use my Fighting Spirit. To give myself five temporary hit points, Fuck and yeah. uh, I am going to hit the guy directly in front of me, this gentleman huh. right here. Uh-oh. Uh, the guy right in front of me with advantage. All right. You stand up, I assume, yes? Yes, that would also be a thing that I should do. All right. You use the quick kick up, and then swing Whip. twice. All right. Uh, Again. I... There we go. That'll do it. Eight damage. Eight hit damage. Yep. Nice. Thank you, Coots. Stinkler. Yeah, absolutely, Maury. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't have any AoE except for Grease. 
And I can't really grease water. You can grease lightning. Yeah. Silence fades when he's unconscious, Jet. Doesn't that plant eat people? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking we need a wild magic trigger. I'm just going to go for another level one spell. Go for it. Ray of Sickness can't poison these guys, I imagine, right? They are undead. That's okay. Correct. So I'll just catapult again on Voiceless Screamer 3. Alrighty. Fire the missile. Oh, that's big damage. Fuck I, yeah. I have disadvantage. Hell yeah. Come on, fill this decks. Disadvantage. Damn. I will succeed, so I'll take half. <laughs> God, it's still not enough? Nope. He's still going. If he would have failed, it would have been enough. Durst. Get a... oh, 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 right, right, right. Well, I got to roll mild magic on. Let me roll that. Let's yeah. see if luck is on your side. And while you're there, Not today. Mark... Shit. That's all right. Oh, God. I'm gonna do my poker up. Marshall check. I'm trying to find what. And that is a skill check, right? Yes, sir. First time I remembered it for myself. Uh, five and a three? That's insufficient. Okay. Well, uh, you're gonna see Durst scurry, even though he's up to his neck in the water. He's gonna run over. And by God, the crowd's roaring. He fl he flies, holding his hat, and lands a high five onto Coker's unconscious body and hits him with a cure wounds. Let's go. Big roll. Oh, Coker. Three. Oh, get out of here. Tiny Ooh. roll. But in oh, either oh. case, you slap oh, needs the you slap the Goker's hand. Goker, your eyes open. <gasps> okay. Ah. It's great to be back. Uh, what a great audience. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, Goker is going... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not me. Can I... I now that I've uh, healed, can I... I can't attack, correct? Uh, you cannot use an action. Because you already okay. used it. Well, that will be it for me. As I uh, move up beside the Goker, essentially. Okay. With a mace in hand. Coots. Okay. Is consuming a frost giant potion in, uh, an action? It is. Do we know what that does? It sets his strength to 25, I believe. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Which will turn his current attack bonus from... Here, I'll, I'll give you the actual rundown. So, if I were to... Oh, excuse me. 23. It's 23. So... Yeah. How his current attack is plus five, and his current damage is plus three. Uh, that'll change that to a uh, plus eight to attack, and a plus six to damage. Should I go for it? I don't want to see any of my friends die again. I'm going to take the Frost Giant Power Strength Potion. All oh right. my god, he's doing it! All right, oh, here we go. You take off the cap. <laughs> that was like $3,000. Coots, you drink the Frost Giant Potion. Your muscles begin to surge. Frosted runes begin to appear on the outside of your body. Your hair turns a slightly uh, lighter shade of white. Your eyes shine with the blue tundra of the Frost Giant. Your strength is now 23. And for one minute... You fight with all of their strength. All right, guys. Coots is here to save the fucking day. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, my God. Coots is yes. freaking cut. Yes. All I right. activate Flurry of Blows. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, let's go. I'm going to make two unarmed strikes. My first of which on Voiceless Screamer 4. You got it. All right. That needs to be updated to plus three on top of that. So that's going to be here. I'll make you a second macro for that. 
let me, okay. let me just do that real quick. Yeah, no problem. I will call that. I will call that juice. I love, I love the. I love the Hogan boys. Holy shit, brother! I'm a broken up, brother. It, 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 it's what it's happening. You drink the potion, you just start shaking as the, like the howling spirit tries to slap you, which is brother, pointless. Brother, brother, brother. The cooter is upset at what he's seeing. <laughs> awesome. The okay. cooter is not amused. All right, that does unfortunately miss, but you get another Damn. attack. God this damn. One, you got this one. There's no way this you'll miss twice. This is gonna take everything I've got. You just gotta get used no! to it. Jesus Christ! No! What? Wow! Right. No! I get a reward. No! Oh! I'm gambler born. This is, what, what is this? Oh, oh half no. Half gambler born. Yep, re-roll. Right. Re-roll, halfling. Re Let's one. go, halfling. Please. No! <laughs> No! Can we? Great. All right, all right. Can we just go back to bed and wake up again and start the stream over? I feel like we, this, this <laughs> oh, is just. No. What is this? Unfortunately, Coots, this new I strength, can't. this new strength throws you completely off balance and you swing wide. <laughs> and that will conclude his turn. Go, It appears I'm too strong for my own good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guys take care of the rest. Jesus. All right, uh, I'll do the Marshall check. All right, Goker, as you study these creatures more carefully, having been up and close and personal to them, you believe you have determined a weakness. These creatures are vulnerable to cold damage. Oh, you guys. I got up close to them, and I see on their clothes that says they're vulnerable to cold damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Do we have anything that does cold damage? Uh, I don't. I don't! Well. Well, at least we, we can tell other travelers, just in case. <laughs> Excellent. They'll be able to tell off our corpses! Didn't your mace have a special damage, Stinkler? Uh, th that was until we killed the tree, yes, of course. Uh, it might still have it. it. We don't it, know if it lost It all may have time. been cold damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't, you know? <laughs> all right. I'll eat the... How much does the minor potion heal for? Uh, the smaller potion heals for 2d4 uh, plus 2. So maximum of 10. I'll do that one. Okay. I like the taste. I like that taste. Yeah, I like that taste. Yeah. All right, five hit points. All right, can I try to shove Voiceless Screamer 2 onto that plant over there? Uh, you can if you have an action. Healing is, however, drinking a potion is an action. So if you'd like, I could take that back, and you can choose to do that instead if you'd like. Uh... No, I guess I'll drink the potion. Could I also hit with a dagger then? Um, or is that an action too? That, that is an action to attack, unless you want to use it as an offhand, but it will do minimum amounts of damage if you hit. All right. Um, I guess I won't do that then. What does Hideous Laughter do again? Uh, that is a spell that contorts the enemy with something so humorous that they do nothing but laugh. It basically uh, takes away all of their actions and shuts them down. It's a form of hard count, uh, crowd control. Oh, okay. I'll try that on Voiceless Screamer 4. Uh, unfortunately, it is an action for a spell to cast, oh, so shit. you have to choose to do that <laughs> instead of drinking a potion. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, I'll do Bardic Inspiration. All right. Who's your next person? Also, remember, guys, that when he gives you Bardic Inspiration, you have to choose when to use it. And Bardic Inspiration is an extra D6 to an attack roll or, I believe, saving throw. Correct. Yeah. I'll do it on Stinkler. Stinkler? All right, Stinkler. Finger crossbows. Would you like to stand, Goker? Yeah. Okay. That'll be it for you. <laughs> the mud wall begins to give way. One of them's nearly through. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. This one will attack Durst. One hit on Durst for nine damage. Oh. Uh oh. Dang. 
This one will attack Mori. Is, is, is my shield? Is did it go through my shield? Yep. Yeah. Sure damn. <laughs> Sometimes you roll well. This yep. one will attack Mori. Here we Sometimes. go. Let's go. Both no, miss. sir. King, king, king. This one will attack Stinkler. This fool. Uh. And one will catch Stinkler across the face for eight damage. Would you like to resist this one? No, no, no. I'll take it. All righty. Eight damage it is. Here what you go. <laughs> what an absolute what a, Chad. What a beast. All right. Mori. Uh, all right. Uh, having just been hit again, I need to make sure this guy is finished. I'm going to use another use of my fighting spirit, and I will hit the voiceless number three in front of me with advantage. You also got it. Plus five, plus five hit points. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, okay, good thing I used that. Well, again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did I, I, get, <laughs> did I get, oh, this is, did I get, oh, no. did I get oh, Bardic Inspiration? You did, but Bardic Inspiration can't save that. That's a, Fuck! that is a garbage roll and not in the We're good really way. I'm feeling it today. God. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it's just. No, we're we're trying to stretch out this content. Can I mar can I marshal oh, check the things coming Rolling through? Dudes. Yeah, you can, you can. Okay. Don't we know everything about them from the last fight? I don't. We don't know. I'm just gonna make sure. Okay. Eight. Not that it matters. Fucking really. Man. Okay. <laughs> Sub ten rolls. Come on, guys. Stinkler. That's all right. You say, come on, guys, like we're rolling the dice, uh, actually, bro. Actually, hold I'm on. Ta I'm uh, talking uh, to the real dice. Real quick, I, I can move, correct? You can, sir. Uh, I am going to five-foot step, and I'm going to provoke an attack from Screamer 4. Alrighty. Screamer 4 will attack you, but okay. only count the first one of this. That'll okay. hit for four damage. And then I'm going to step back into that spot. Oops. Not Goker. Move. Thank you. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to turn to... Uh, to uh Eating Stinkler. The well. mm -hmm. Yeah. Stinkler back up. Okay. Okay. He did that so that you could move Basically, out of the range. Basically, I baited it so that you could move out of its threat range and if it tries to go after you, I'll get a hit on it. But this okay. way you don't take more damage. Nice. All right. Big plan. Yep. Can I, uh So did, when we did that short rest, did I get another level 1 cast back or did I still only have two? Uh you should have uh, one spell left. Okay. Yeah, um, and you and you can get another one if you spend your sorcery pool. So you have two. You have two spells left. Okay. Um, grease is still useless. I don't have a macro for grease. I just it, know honestly, it. dude, if you can hit screamer three with literally anything, it'll probably yeah. go down because we've been beating the crap out of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just worried about the coughing dead. Um. Hmm. No worries, Stinkler. Coots is here, and he'll definitely... <laughs> Dude, I hope you roll better than a two. Okay, I'm thinking... Here, let me back up this way. I'll just catapult three again, I guess. Well, or... Ray of Sickness still does damage, just not poison, right? I don't know which is more reliable. It does poison damage. Oh, so it wouldn't work at all. Mm -mm. Okay, so catapult's the only option. Let's run it and pray for wild magic. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's such big Ooh. damage. Oh. All right, I'll roll with uh, dexterity here. I thought it was on the if, enemy with he, one even HP. If he makes it, roll on, it's still half, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm going to I still have to roll it out. Okay, I'll fail and take 20 Let's damage. Go. The voiceless Goodbye. screamer will crunch into a ball as the catapult it strikes it and shatters its body. The creature yeah. is defeated. Great job, Stink. Oh, wait, right. Uh, great oh, job, right. Stinkler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now I will. Scooter. And now, let's see if Wild Magic triggers. It does. Yes. Oh, baby. All right. I'm let's see. Surge. Let's see if we tear break. We do. Can oh. we do it again? We do. Can oh. we do it again? We do not. Okay. Fuck. It stops right. there. Oh, God. Sorry. And that is a D14. Okay. We got this, guys. It's a war of attrition. I now. understand. Oh, God. Wrong thing. I clicked the button. Okay, I gotta choose a random element. 
Oh god, I hope it's ice. Let's ice go. Please be ice. It is in fact cold. Oh, yes! Oh. Stinkler is the main character. And then this is where he goes, Mori, Stinkler you take 12 cold damage. Ah! <laughs> One moment, please. Come on, this would be huge. Okay. All right, Stinkler, as you summon forth the catapult, the garbage around you begins to crack and shift as your mana splinters and an unknown effect takes place. I don't know what's happening to me. The air begins to cool. The air begins to become frigid. And then the water behind you begins to freeze over and a being rises up from it. Oh, yes! I've done it! I have Elementals, baby! Nanda Koriwa? One moment, please. Generating. Oh, that is clutch. Hell yeah, Stinkler. Oh, thank me. Thank the polluted water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this creature is summoned next to Stinkler. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. God, she's beautiful. <laughs> A frost elemental warrior appears next to Stinkler and summons forth ice to assist him. All right. Let's see. Fuck this thing in particular. Yep, I would agree. Yeah. All right, let's hit that with... For a second there. I thought we are getting the Michael Keaton snowman. All right, that is a crit for 25 vulnerable 50 ice damage. Oh, yes! Directly to voice the screamer. Oh, that's wonderful. Ooh! 50 cold damage as this creature is obliterated by an ice Jesus. blast. Jesus! Yeah, he's the main character. Oh, fuck yes. That's what we needed right there. The now frost that's a lot of damage. The frost, element, the frost elemental will turn towards Stinkler and will give a bow. All right. Thank you, milady. Would you like to move somewhere? Uh, I'll, st uh, I'll stay here, I think. Man, Oof. that was... That was you getting that, uh... <laughs> That luck back that you guys have been losing this whole time. Man, yeah. it, it felt like uh, that You know what? We needed that. That was clutch. Tier that three like... into an ice elemental? Ooh, Lord! That's that good shit. Yeah, not only was it an elemental, it was the exact element we needed. Yeah. The garbage always responds when I, we need it most. I would argue the best element would be the element of surprise. Get out. What? Wow, come on. That was Get fine. out. <laughs> Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Okay. What you got for me, Durst? Oh, let me tell you what I got for you. Uh, Durst, Durst is going to target the uh, creature right in front of him. And uh, Durst is going to try and hit him. With a, I think I, did I just get turned undead uh, level two? I yeah. I think I got that. Mm -hmm. I don't have it on my, on my spell sheet, so. I want to hit it with turn undead, though. All righty, then. Let's see here. Be acquaint myself with that. I'm bored. That's right. Time for the cleric to come in clutch. All right. Durs. All right, as you speak speak to the words of the holy coin, all the undead in the area that can hear you or see you, which is all of them, must now resist being shaken to their cores from the presence of I your holy flavor. He just flicks it up into the air and it and it goes slow. By the light of Caesar, go back from whence you came. All right. 
Thank you, number two. All right, these creatures are struck with fear of Durst. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. Does the fear extend to the rest of us, or is it just of Durst? No, it, it's it's just a Durst, but basically they have to run away from him now. Okay. Which means they're boogly, not attacking. Boogly, 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 boogly. All of them except that one, who yep. just probably couldn't hear him because he was in the mud wall. All right, Durst, anything else? Uh, I can't move without taking an opportunity attack, correct? Unless I circle around behind. Uh, you can take, you can move now because he's turned. Oh, excellent! Because then I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, you see, Durst scurrying away all the way back beside the pretty ice lady. All right, Coots. I'm still powerful, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you remember my last performance, but it's time to go so much bigger. He's so huge. He's Dude, got redemption. the arms. Redemption arc. Let's go, baby. I go for my I, so I can do three unarmed strikes if I do key mm -hmm. uh, flurry of blows again. Yes, sir. Okay, but I can just start with my regular one. Yep, use the juiced macro. So wait, I'm sorry. Could I short sword unarmed and then flurry of blows and then get two more unarmed? Uh, combo. you you could only get three attacks total. Okay. All right. So oh I'll man. Just go for three unarmed. All right. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that does the hole. There it is. There it is. And he's feared, too. That's digging the hole. Uh, go ahead, next one, please. Let's go, baby. Oh, he's so juiced. Juice the third one. Juice will save the day. Get juiced. You got one more. And I, I, I get my third one? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah! Oh, right. yes! That's 29 damage. Ah, that's, uh, that's the punchline. That's hey, the punchline. That was good. Can All right. appreciate the joke. <laughs> Goker. Finish him off, Goker. Tell him about All Jack right. Nicholson. All right, you motherfucker. Let me tell this guy about Jack Nicholson. Actually, can I shove him into that plant? You sure can. And then tell him about Jack Nicholson. Well, plant. it takes an action to shove him, but go ahead. I'm shoving him. All right, make an athletics check. Uh, you have advantage, I believe, because he's turned. Roll again. Oh, yes, sir. Mm. Uh, you accidentally rolled for Coots, but that's okay. Uh, roll one more time. Yeah, 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 you clicked on him. <laughs> I'm so athletic. <laughs> All right, so we'll take the 17. Uh, 17, and now it is an opposed roll, so I'll roll against you, but my uh, athletics is not very good. And I am turned, so I have disadvantage. Okay, yeah. so 14 versus 17 is insufficient. You shove him five feet. And now I have to make a dexterity saving throw to not be uh, snared by the man-eating plant. Yeah. Uh, that is insufficient. Yeah. You look like Jack Nicholson when he got frozen. Excellent. Alrighty. <clears throat> We're undead, and now we're scared, so we're leaving. I'm not leaving. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a new talking zombie. Okay, they're all dead. Mori. Oh, why, hello there, straggler. Allow me to introduce you to sword! And I'm going to swing at him. Okay. Big uh, sword, big sword, big sword. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Six. Huge. I can't even. <laughs> That's 
All right, I started good. That's all that matters. They just, won't remember this part. I'll just click the stinkler. Yeah, I guess go ahead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get right up in his ass. Uh, I haven't used the great club yet, so let's try out this new weapon. Oh, actually, I also have the gauntlets. Um, do I know which is better? Great club. Okay, then great club. Yeah, ooh, oh, my God. Ah! All right. Ah! Can I talk to my ice waifu? Can she do an action? Uh, she already intended to. Oh, good. Uh, she's... Hopefully she'll she'll hit. She'll Let's go, like, honey. She's gonna pull out a sawed-off shotgun and just blow its head no, off. No, she will, however, uh, create frost blades and just stab the damn thing. Thank you. That's my girl. For 15 cold damage. Woo! Which Woo! this creature is not vulnerable to, but All right. it will take 15 cold damage, which is still a fucking lot of damage. Could he potentially fall in love with the ice waifu and maybe with <laughs> the Um, no, that's not, no, no. <laughs> that is not possible. Thank you, though. <laughs> Durst. Can Durst romance the ice thing? I, I just want <laughs> Sure, if you wanted to, I guess. <laughs> okay, Durst pulls out his, uh, Durst pulls out his old, his old trusty little handgun and just ch -ch -ch fires at the undead. Give him the crossbow. Ch -ch -ch bang! 12. Man. They don't think you'd be like it is, but it do. We're feeling it now. Anything else? Uh, no, that will uh, be... It. Oh, George is actually going to hide conveniently behind the ice lady. Oh, good. 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 Excellent. Coots. Mm -hmm. Coots. We'll finish this off. Oh, yeah. The big coots. I can't do two unarmed strikes. I need to do a short sword and an unarmed strike. You can do a short, a short sword and an unarmed strike, or you can do two unarmed strikes if you'd like. Oh, I can. Okay. All yeah. Right, then yeah. Ooh, give a hoot. Cheer for coots, brother. Oh no. That's a, hit? that's a miss. I, actually, you have a... bardic performance, or excuse me, bardic inspiration. If you'd like to use that. I would like to use my bardic inspiration if my friends could encourage me for these final two strikes. You can do it, Cooter! <sighs> Hit him in the head! Cooter the Cooter! <laughs> Let's go! Punch oh! his head! Oh! 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 Alright. Oh my god, he fucking ate him! And swollen, oh. uh, swole with power and pride, Coots defeats the enemy in front of him. And this mm. battle is concluded. Ah! Holy crap. Woo! Do I return back to my normal status? Yep. Oh, well, in like 40 seconds. Okay, okay. Does my ice princess stay with me for the rest of my life? Negative. Uh, I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> I'm gonna do something quick. I'm gonna shake hands with the frost elemental and I say, I used to meet you. She will smile as she has never heard that before. And then she will give a bow to Stinkler. Oh my god, I don't know why she's spinning around like that. Uh, she will give a bow to Stinkler. And then she will fade as her magic has ended. Does she leave behind a cool piece of trash to remember her by? She does not. Oh, ha! Ah! <laughs> I'll never forget you, Ice Lady. Uh! Nothing about her was trash. <laughs> Man, that was a wild fucking one. That's that was yeah. Crazy. That was that was a good fight that, though. That wild that magic. Was, I, I will admit, you so legit bad. got me stressed at the beginning of that fight. I was like, oh my god, is this it? Is this it? All right. What do you do next? The battle is over, and you are victorious. If I ah. might make a recommendation. Yes, of course, of course. We used a lot of energy and supplies in that fight. We might want to consider another rest. Uh, it's fine by me. The Coots agrees. Is it okay if we rest on this little island surrounded by water? I kind of... That's fine. I would recommend at least two of us take a shift, making sure nothing attacks us while we sleep. Uh, I'll take the first shift. I'm happy to take the second. I will happily sleep. All right, I'm sleeping already. All right, I'm a, a long rest time. Okay, the Goker goes unconscious. 
Alrighty. Uh, so what are your watches? He had the first shift, and then Mori will wake up and swap with him so that he can get a full long rest. All right. And so, the party taking refuge uh, on a small island surrounded by the waist deep water of the flowing lands try to recover from their wounds. However, you are not in a safe place. And let us see if you are able to finish your rest. All right. Who's on? Uh, who is on second watch? Uh, Mori. All right, Mori. Make me a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception. Come on, Mori. That's a thirteen. With a thirteen, Mori. Whilst quietly resting and meditating with your comrades, you overhear something quite unsettling. Uh, you hear this. A chanting coming from the north. Oh, good. Does it sound like it's nearby, or does it? Is it? It sounds distant, my... but close okay. enough that you can hear it. Okay. Um, seeing as how Stinkler just went to sleep, I'm going to wake up Coots. Hey, what's going on, Maury? Chanting. You hear it? Yeah, I'll chant with you, yeah. What, what do you no, want to chant? No, no, to the north. We're to the north. To the no. north. Coots, to Coots. the north. Robin, listen to me. Oh, 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 Someone is chanting to the north. We are not alone here. Let me listen. Let me see if I can hear something. Perception check there, Coots. Your hearing is slightly sharper, and you can tell that it is not far away. It is somewhat close, uh, somewhere about 70 feet or so away from you. You want to investigate, or maybe we can fly overhead and see what's going on? I would say that we wake up the other two and allow Stinkler to rest as long as we can. Yeah, I would actually wouldn't feel too bad waking up thirst. <laughs> Time to wake up Durst. Under. Durst having a great sleep, by the way. He's finally dreaming about like his family in a positive light. Durst! Durst! Ah! Durst! 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 Come Maury's on, just, Maury's ah! just going to poke him with the sheath of his sword. Oh, God, no, not reality. Please, no. Ah, what? Is it wake my up, shift? Goblin. We have company. We're not ready for guests. We're not ready for guests. He'll Durst. then he'll then turn to Goker and poke him with the sheath of his sword. Guys, Goker, we think we heard up. something. Try to listen up and see if you can hear anything north of us. What's a map? Okay. Ba, 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 ba. I hear him. All right, roll some perception checks for me. Uh... It's a whopping, I think that's a 10 for me. Mm -hmm. I know Goker has great ears. He oh. does. He sure does. He sure oh. does. Goker, your sharpened senses are able to depict that whatever this chanting is, it seems to be coming from here. And over the tops of these... Uh, these leafy walls, you can see what appears to be a roof of some kind. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy, that guy Channing, he's over by that, that hut. I'm going back to sleep. Did he sound hostile? What, Goker? He's funny. <laughs> My guess is if he's chanting out here with all these undead, there's nothing good about him. That's oh, that's usually the part of the course. So let's go up there. Question Here above game. Has mm -hmm. everybody gotten a long rest except for Stinkler at this point? No, you're still only halfway through the watch. Shoot. 
All right. Uh, can we stay put and try to finish it off until yeah. something comes? Okay. I just told you you heard something. You don't have to respond to it. Gotcha. I would recommend we get as much rest as possible. I can continue to watch. So you woke me up to tell me to rest? I wanted to make sure we weren't about to be attacked. Don't make me not... Damn it! <laughs> Can't argue with him on that one. All right. Does the party continue its rest? Yeah. Who is yeah. third watch? Oh, yes. Huh? Who is third watch? Me. Uh, is that Coots? Coots, Coots okay. yeah. Coots got it. Okay. Coots, during your watch, uh, you hear... Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you hear this. To the oh, northeast. Fine, fine. Uh, it's probably just the wind or something. Um, I don't know I'm about that one there, Chief. Gonna go for a quick listen around, see if I can hear anything more specifically and how far it might be. Make a stealth there check. Could, could be anything. I know. Oh, also make me a stealth check. <coughs> okay. Is that a, is that a reroll? Yeah. Okay. Oh, reroll again. <laughs> Only once. Only once per roll. Can't reroll the different one. No, it counts okay. the same reroll. All right, Dave. Alrighty. Go ahead and move. I'm. I'm just gonna listen. I'm just gonna go right up here and. Anything... Oh, you're really going in deep. Yeah, Jesus I was gonna Christ. say. We're wait. Hold on a second. No, this makes this in story. This makes sense. <laughs> All right. Please, Please don't die while anything. I'm sleeping. I won't live. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a man-eating plant. Yeah, not not near the manning plant. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. When you get, only thought about doing that. Uh, I'm a halfling, so manning plant. When you get to about when you get to about here, you can hear something in this direction. Something's on the other side of this. Uh, you can hear it. Uh, how close are, are my uh, my teammates to finishing the rest? Uh, still one more watch, which is another two hours. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna go wake up, um, uh, Stinkler. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Before you leave, I got something to yeah. show you. Okay. Uh, okay don't, don't give me that. just a second here. You don't have to show it to me. It's okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's totally fine. Yeah. It's all good. I like when you do. It's like no show, no tell. Yeah. Opposite show and tell. Oh, yeah. Just, just don't. I don't want to be burdened with such knowledge. It's true. My brain oh, is it's like learning there. how hot dogs are made. All right. And you see this. Or rather, you hear it's very close. And um, as you kind of look through the look through the vines, even though your stealth check wasn't very good, you are able to see pretty clearly through the the plant walls. You see this creature. Nope. 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 No, please no. Okay. It looks like it might want a conversation. <laughs> as you uh, as you spot the creature's presence, you step back onto a branch from your one on stealth. Snap. Oh, oh he's moving fast. Persuasion check. <laughs> the creature is getting closer. What do you do, Coots? He's getting closer to me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. He can't see me through the foliage, right? Uh, it has not indicated that it can, but it did hear you. Okay. I would like to shoot a dart mm -hmm. and make some noise over here-ish. Okay. You throw a dart. Go ahead and make a roll for me. Just a dart roll? Yep. Okay. Huh. 
Good plan. Good nice, job. quick thinking. Oh, it's getting awfully close to that hut over there. Maybe they'll fight. <laughs> that would be lovely. All right, you will see where your dart is landed, and the creature will crane its its heads down, and will start sniffing it. <laughs> You see that the creature has like a really weird way of smelling. You can see that its tongue comes out and it licks the air, but it's all gross and fetid. And the creature kind of looks as if it had something, but doesn't. And it continues to search for food. Okay, quietly walk back. Yep. And then... I'm just gonna wait here, not wake anybody up. I want to get, the, get let them get their rest. All right, and so the party finishes its long rest. Let's go! All right. Oh, oh that's huge. All right, let me wake up in the morning feeling like pee giddy. All right, and boop, there you go. All Fuck right. yeah! Because uh, now spells are back, health are back, hit die are back. Hey, it's hey, huge. hey, Ludwig, that was awesome, dude. Good play on yeah, that good one, job, dude. That was good. That was clutch. It worked out, it worked out. Can I loot these bodies or check for loot? You sure can. As you take a closer look at the corpses, um, the coughing undead doesn't really have anything, but there is something curious about the voiceless screamers. You can see, and make me a medicine check. Ooh, not bad. 12. Okay, well, the 12, as you take a look at the screamers, you can see that there is, well, their throat has been surgically removed and replaced with a strange stone medallion, and on it is a symbol in native Glan, and not in a language that you can understand. But what's curious is that this surgical incision with your medicine check was made after the creature had already died. You won't believe what I found in this creature's throat. It's some kind of medallion. A what? Let Is me there... see. I Is don't, it... yeah, I don't know. It must have been like buried with it. Is there anything on it? I don't, I can't read this language. It's, it's weird. All Does right. it look oh, like Galean to us? That's Irish. <laughs> that's Irish. That's, yeah. Yo, that's mm. Irish, dog. All right, as you get closer, Durst, the sh uh, make me a religion check. And Mori, yes. you're able to read what is written uh, on the stone coin. Okay. Uh, it is written. Oh man. Voiceless. I'm losing my religion. <laughs> Sorry, what was written on it? Voiceless. Got it. This is Galean for voiceless. That does make sense. Morbid. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, um, hey, I should probably tell you this. When you guys were sleeping, um, so you know, like, uh, like worms, like earthworms? Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm aware. Okay, yeah, um, and, but, okay, um, and you guys know Stinkler, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, He's right so, here. Uh, I guess it's like an earthworm that's ten times bigger than Stinkler, and has multiple heads, uh, was, uh, hanging around really close to us. What? Mm. Uh, what? 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 Which, which direction, Coots? Oh, it was like um, northwest, uh, north, northwest, northeast of us. Was he holding any guns? Um, I, I, I could see him through some brush, so I, I couldn't get a, too good of an image. But all I know is that um, he really, 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 really seemed hungry, and um, he got kind of distracted when I threw a dart at him, and he left us. But I think if we got too close, he'd probably want to pick a fight. 
I'd say we should try to avoid more fights. My recommendation would be the northeast where we heard the chanting. That sounds good. Uh, I I want this medallion, so I'm. I hope you boys don't mind if I rip out this creature's throat. I mean, again. I think all of them have it, right? They do. Shit, you got three stones if you want them. Well, that one in there. I don't know about that one. It's pointing possible. at the tree. That the pointing at the tr the carnivorous tree. <laughs> yeah, that it one's probably possible. gone. It is possible whatever was chanting might have created these things. That is a good point, and I could take the evidence to them, and maybe we could have them thrown in jail, and we get a reward for it. Or we could shove them down his throat. Huh? Mm, but he could be, yeah. Yeah, that is possible. Uh, is this mud stack still here, or is there now a path through it? It, it is, but you can you can get through it easily. Excellent. Uh, Mori's going to start moving towards the north. Uh, hold on, Stinkler, confirming action. Are you taking the, the stone coins out of their throats? Yep. All right, as you do so, breath will escape from the creature's throat, and a strange mm. sense of magic will seep up and out of the creature. The creature's face, which was frozen in horror, seems to soften. My god! The Coots, this is your grandfather, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Where? Look at his face! Oh, uh, no, my grandpa was way uglier than that. Ah, I was mistaken. Oh my, so oh. that thing is preventing their soul from release. Hmm. I'm going to be honest with you there, Smelgor. How about this? I think we should collect every single one of those to free the souls. Or whatever's trapped inside, and we sell them for money. Mmm, very similar to like Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. No, don't even get me started with colors. We can change the color. <laughs> Says like walking away. Okay, okay. All right, does the party catch up to Mori? Yay. All right. We'll continue. All right, I'll move you guys as one then. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. And so the party continues following the path until they come to a large pit. The pit Question. seems the pit seems to go down uh, dozens, perhaps even a hundred feet. Uh, um, this Durst, Durst is gonna sorry, Durst is gonna stop Goker. Goker, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. I can see the bottom. No, that doesn't mean you should try and jump it. Goker, I will recommend you don't fall down there. Above game, does it look like we should? Through. <laughs> Above game, does it look like this is something that w that myself and Coots could like glide over? Let me fly, Arcadum. Uh, I mean, you could jump over it easy. Oh, yeah. The distance Ooh, between that... those two points uh, is like. Now, nah, hold feet. on. I need someone. To... <laughs> someone needs to hold on to poor Durst. He doesn't got the leg power. Can I? Can I, uh, can I, can I glide for cool points? I mean, yeah. If you want to be cool, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look I at mean, how cool you are. It's more. He's got to do it. He's so cool. He's so cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attempt to glide over. All right, and you and easily done. Yep. Oh. Well, if you're gonna glide, I will too. Nice. Uh, right, when he lands, fist bump. Bang. That uh, was super cool. Doris is gonna pull a rope slowly out and start tying it around his waist. Goker, ah, uh, can you tie this around your waist real quick? Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. In case one of us falls, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. All right. I'm going to grab the... to this before this goes. Oh, yes. All right. Just in case. Well, uh, I can make us a bridge if, if we'd prefer. Yeah, make yes. a bridge. Yes, okay. that would be good. I'll, I'll make a bridge with mold earth. All right, you'll Works mold. The digitation you'll mold the earth in front of you, and that is not what I wanted. Uh, you make a bridge. Easily done. Ah, oh, that we're done. Oh, we tied up for no reason. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Just uh, does the rope. Can we see this hut now directly in front of us, basically, oh, or is the hedges in the way? Uh, you can see it because it's taller than the hedges. So you know it's Got right it. there. 
This was where I heard the chanting from earlier. We should be careful. Do you want me or the Goker to sneak up and have a listen? Considering you're decked out in armor, I think Goker might be better at that. Well, maybe Coot, you seem rather intelligent. Mm. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I'll go take a look. You guys stay here. It's the way he said this. Like, wow, you, really? <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Oh, man. Should wait, how come you say he's guy? intelligent? You said you went from Goker to him. All right, as you approach the tower. <laughs> no sometimes, sometimes, it, sometimes it's what they're not saying, Goker. Sometimes it's what they're not saying. I love the delay. Goker's like, wait a second. I've analyzed that. Hang on. <laughs> Just the wind. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. Oh, it's so sick looking. All right. When you get up to here, you notice that there are an ancient set of marble doors that are grown over. Okay. Uh, guys, there's giant marble doors over here that are grown over. Jesus uh, Christ, I love marble. Oh, uh, I, I... Maury okay. will move up a little bit, but he'll he'll put his finger over his mouth for Coots to keep his voice down a little bit. I'm sorry. No, it's this stuff is expensive. Um, well, that, while um, they're walking up ahead, can Durst quickly stop Goker for one quick second by pulling, grabbing onto his wrist for his look? Hey, come here. Most for him to listen to him. When we get, before we get to near Mori, we're a little bit further back. Listen, this Mori guy, he's, he's from this land, but I have a nasty feeling there might be lots and lots and lots of stuff to steal. So, let's not say anything too loud if we see it, okay? I'll wink. I'll split it with you 50-50. Yeah. If you said we need a special call, if you see a treasure, make this noise go. Okay, so like. <coughs> no, 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 more like. <coughs> yeah, like that. Okay, good. If we do it enough, they won't even notice. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you rejoin the party. What do you do? Uh, does it look like there's a way in? Uh, you could open these doors. Those are doors. Yeah. Got it. Uh, marble is known for its weight, so it might be kind of heavy. Yeah, when you I'll get up to there, up. Maury, you overhear yep. this. Uh, Mori will slowly turn back to the group. Whoever was chanting is inside. Then why don't we try shouting and get his attention? What if he's hostile? We could ask him through the door if he's mean. Oh yeah, good idea. Hey, are you guys mean in there? Are you mean? <laughs> you see Durst's hand, like, literally try and take his head off by smacking it so hard. <sighs> yeah. As you as you yell over the chanting, the chanting does not stop. Hey, you guys are assholes. Wow, they're really All right. rude hosts. Time, time to open these doors. Uh, he's more he's gonna nod at Coots, and then open nod towards really the doors. Slow. Wait, um, before that, um, Durst wants to do an inspection around to the other to the right side of what he's looking at here. Does he see any other holes in the inside? Yeah, there's this one. Hold on, guys. Shh. Go. Uh, Durst motions over. There's a hole right here. He gestures at the hole in the wall. Uh, I can fix that for him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. We're going to flip this house, guys. We're going to uh, flip it. It's not that kind of show. What we're going for is more of an open concept. Uh, can we see inside now? With, yeah. With this wall is knocked out? When you move uh, to that, you see these creatures inside. Oh. And Did you can see anything? that they are all standing in a row looking towards the center of this structure. They appear uh, to be creatures, people, something covered in candles and melted wax and also what appears to be molten silver. You can see 
that they stand in a position of dereliction. They offer, uh, they offer um, dogmatic acceptance to the symbol in the center of the room. Make me a religion check in order to determine what religion that is. Excellent. With those religion checks, 15. you nice. easily recognize the symbol of the seven. I know that. Do now, we know what seven, the seven guys, are? It's the symbol of the seven. The seven. It's the seventh seal. The seven. Exactly. Oh. The seven. The seven are a deity that represents uh, the, the the power of hope over despair. The original seven were seven mortals who rose up against the great threat against all of creation. And the seven have have reincarnated in each era until the last one, when the enemy was finally defeated. However, even though that happened about 50 years ago, this temple is far, far older than that. Hundreds of years. And these beings do not even seem to register that you are there. They just stare forward chanting their ritual. I do not believe these creatures are hostile. I don't think so either. We yeah, can try and talk to them. Easily. Hey, what if we um, have Gorgor go walk in the center and see if we can distract them? Let's check them for money. <laughs> oh, God! See, out of all of you, he, Gorgor's making the most sense, and that's what's most insane about this. All right. Would you like to search the creature for money, Gorgor? Yeah. Uh, as you get closer, it doesn't really have any determinable pockets, but the creature is covered in molten silver. Yeah. If we pick this guy up, we can sell him. That's well, why true. don't we ask him for his skin instead? Maybe he'll part with it. That's never worked out well. I don't know if we have the ability to store molten lava, guys. Molten silver, sorry. Unless that's a magic trash can, I would agree. Hmm. Hold on, Hello? Um, Dirk's just gonna, like, like, snap his fingers in front of it, like, in front of his eyes. The creature does not register that you are there. It is in another world entirely. What the hell? Let me try it. Let me try it. <clears throat> Everyone stop. Hammer time? All right, donkey. Oh, oh no. It's great to be here, uh... Hey, we're here in the Temple of the Seven. Temple of the Seven. Hey, I haven't been, I haven't been here since uh, since the Gold Wars. The what? Thank you. Wars? Thank Toots you. lightly applauses. Oh, hold on. Audience. Hold on. Hold on. Something happens when you go there. <laughs> I'm just getting my notes out. Oh no. Let's see here. Let's see how no, thick of a book go. it is. I'm gonna no, miss you, go, Goker. Go. Uh, they probably liked it so much that they crowned him one of the seven. <laughs> no, he becomes the eighth. The eighth <laughs> wonder of the world. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. A strange feeling comes over you. I think they liked my jokes. Goker, as you stand in the center of the room, the chanting, the presence of your allies, your compatriots, they all seem to bleed away. The colors fade all around you. You feel yourself drifting through shadow, like an, like an inky tendril swirling around you, pulling you deeper and deeper into an ocean of existence, of, of thought. You fall away completely. All of your senses become muted. You open your eyes, feeling almost as if it was the first time, and you are standing on what appears to be a solid plane of water There is light emanating out from you in a small circle. 
as you step forward. Your each footstep is like an echo. And you feel that you are not alone. What do you do? Well, it's great to be here in the ocean realm or what have you. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen a place this crazy since the Gold Wars. Gold Wars. Your voice Hello? echoes out almost, almost sort of infinitely. An echo dispersing, twisting, and eventually you hear the voice come back to you, your own voice, repeating the words that you just said. But you still feel that you are not alone. Eyes watch you from the absence of light. You can hear the shifting of water. And an echoing footstep, as if something is getting closer. What do you do? Can I step off of the middle platform, perhaps? As you step forward, you are not in the waking realm, but you are in this place. And when you step forward, you feel that you have moved, but your position has not changed. You feel... As you walk forward more and more, trying to get out of the this place, that it simply keeps going, and keeps going, and keeps going. You feel almost as if you were lost at sea. He said the title. He said the title. That's huge. He said the title. That's the title. Right. Drop. Title drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't seen a place this big since the uh, <laughs> since the Dead Sea. So we just see him standing still the whole time. Yeah, the rest the rest of you. This all happens nearly instantly, and in, through his mind as and a vision. Um. Okay. Here we go. A voice speaks to you, Goker. The blood of the stranger flows. It would seem. How curious it is that a native-born son would find my reliquary. Hey, what's going on? I'm Goker. Greetings to you. I am Doubt. And a being will doubt? appear on the edge of the light. A being shrouded in blackness and shadow. You will see that it wears a gray fading robe and it stands just barely on the edge. Almost like, imagine if you were looking at a ghost but its features are faded and almost looks like it's... Like, have you ever seen an old faded photograph? How it kind of just disappears on the edge? That's what it looks like. Okay. You said your name was Doubt? That is the name I was given. Yes. Like Mrs. Doubtfire? <laughs> I do not know of this Doubtfire. But it is my name nonetheless. Hey, can I get uh, te teleported out of the... Back to the other realm? For a second? For a second. I see. So bright that they met Mrs. Doubtfire. 
you do not know where you are. Well, I know this is this is the ocean zone. I come here a lot. You are defensive with your deceptions. But that isn't the truth of it, is it? No, I lied. It's fine. Many lie to me. Many lie to themselves. But it would seem that the serendipitous swirling of fate and the threads of the tapestry have led you to this place. Yeah, well, we just walked over here, actually. Yes. Yes, you did. And it was actually, it was actually Coot's idea. <laughs> if we're in trouble. <laughs> there is no trouble here. I mean you no harm. However, harm may yet still come to you. Uh -oh. Would you like to know where you are? Yeah. You are in a realm created by those that thought to save their worlds. A demi-plane, twisted, malignant, and empty. You are in my prison, and my home, and my refuge. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice in here. You're you got some food? <laughs> Your words are kind. But no, it is not a good place. It was a place of necessity. I was bound here by the wizard Tear. And I suppose, in some degree, by the very stranger he represents. Tis an old prophecy, the stranger, repeated in this land many times, many times. So wait, wait, the wizard Tear is working for a stranger? No, he is the stranger. Oh, okay, okay. He is known by another name here to these people of the East. He was the stranger. He broke the chains of persecution from their old masters and freed them all from the grip of the Dominix. And yet... D Wait, Dominix? Ominex. Oh, Ominex, yes, of course. The Ominex are people that are much like you, except Winged, more serpentile, and far, far less forgiving. Yeah, they're... I'm next to assholes. Yes, they are. And it would seem that once again, evil has risen. A toxic ambition has claimed the East. But the evil that comes here now is a threat far greater than the Almanax, than Tears' machinations. What? The sacred places of the Yokai. They are beginning to be corrupted. The mist grows long and thick, preventing those to travel. But they are all of them machinations. Machinations to the man in the east. I'll go kill him. <laughs> Your audacity is noble. Perhaps you will have such skill. Yeah, I'm level two. <laughs> but I wonder, 
Goker. And the, sh the shrouded individual will enter the light fully, revealing that it is a, uh, a spirit faded and on the edges, almost like it's shredded. And it will say, Do you speak this with truth? Do you wish to right this wrong? To take the burden of this task? Or shall I return you to your comrades? Uh, return me to the comrades, actually. <laughs> Very well. So be it. But if you feel that you would like to see the truth of things, all you must do is return. All right. You awaken Bye -bye. in the temple. Mere moments have passed. Don't, don't stand there, Goker! Why Yo, you guys gotta go in there, man. It's crazy in there. What? In where? Go in that, go in that circle. It gets crazy in that circle. Don't trust him. He's doing a bit or something. Oh, Goker, funny, there's man. nothing on the circle here. Moriel, step on the circle. <laughs> See? And then he... No. Nothing else. Damn happens. it. <laughs> You're fine. Anything happen? Joker, you and I your bits. No. That's a realm. What's a realm? That circle is a realm. This circle is a circle made of marble. No, no, no. It's a realm. <sighs> yeah, I'm going in there. All right. Uh, there is something that you notice that you have in your hand now, Goker, that you did not have before. As you look down at it, its weight apparent. What do I get? It is a silver coin, and on the front is the Glayan symbol for Shroud. Look at this. I got a coin, you guys. Nice! Holy Let shit! Let me see this coin. Ooh. It's special coin. Mm. Why it's is special. it special? Oh, it's a coin, first of all. Yeah, I got it from the realm. Mm. Can, can I the inside Joker? Free. Can anyone? Go ahead. I, man. Hang on. It's a 22. The Goker isn't lying. See? It is from a room. But, Goker, you were gone for, like... I mean, you stood on there for a second. Uh, I don't know how you would have gone to a realm so quickly. No, what was the name of the realm, the tough guy? It was, like, Ocean ocean Man's realm. I don't know, I guys. It feels place. like another one of Goker's things. Why no. There's a guy, no, there was a guy in there called Darth. Coots, I have oh. seen Goker lie before. He is, and I can't believe I'm saying this, telling the truth. Ha! Cap. How does that help us, even if it is true? Well, he said we gotta go kill this guy in the east. What? What guy? What? There's like some evil man, and he's got like machines all over the world, and he's really we gotta take him out. Make me a history check. Yay! Durs is those just of sitting us there from, blinking. Do those of us from this land get any bonus to it? Uh, yeah, you have an advantage. I'll take it. Uh, let's oh see. God! Uh, well that's an eighteen, and then Mori, he must be speaking of the Pale Emperor. The leader of the Eclipse. Do you speak of the leader of the Eclipse? Yeah. He's evil. What did he do that's so bad? What makes him evil? Oh, he's got his, He's doing a lot of evil stuff lately. He's got a lot of... Uh, you know, he's just doing a lot of evil They're stuff. They're behind the corruption, right? That's what the, uh, the Gekkoi told us. The 
there's a lot of rumors of what the Eclipse have done. The only thing that you know for certain from history is that the leader of the Eclipse uh, is an ambitious man that conquered that country. Booker, I, I thought you just cared about like money and eating valuable stuff. Is this something <laughs> you have to chase? I mean, if you really care about this, then I'll, I'll back you up. I think if we can maybe get to this rich guy, he's got all the stuff. He's probably the richest guy on this whole game. One would hope. Go there, get all the money. All the money. You said his name was out. the Pale. You said his name was the Pale Emperor. Right? Well, yeah. you you also know his actual name. It's uh, Otami Kurozai. Here, I'll just I'll just type the thing the whole thing out for you. Got it. Hmm. Otami. Uh, here you go. I'll put it in the Discord for you. Bless you. Put it in. I lost it. See. Uh, need to go click on it now. You will all see Mori's eyes kind of narrow. Otami Kurazai. He is an ambitious leader, the Pale Emperor. A conqueror at heart. If he is behind any of this, Galeus could be in trouble. Hmm, so what does the coin do then? Uh, I'm gonna flip it. Oh. Alright, as you flip the coin, Goker. As it lands back in your hand, you and your comrades this time are all in the realm that you entered before. See? Oh, Jesus it's a realm! Mori is pulling out his sword. Oh, wow, this is like a water zone of some kind! Goker, Goker, what did Goker? You Goker, what did you do? This is Ocean Man's realm. Ocean Man's realm, okay. Calm your blade, samurai. You are not in danger here. His name is Darth. I pull out my gun. What are you doing? Who are you? I am known as Darth. Doubt. Darth, Doubt. You weren't even close to getting his name right. Hey, either. Darth. My name's Coots. How are you doing today? <laughs> I did not, did not expect, expect you to return you nearly instantaneously. instantaneously. Yeah, I couldn't I figure it out. I, I, don't think I think the portal was broken. Hmm. <laughs> In either case, does this mean that you have discussed my proposal? Uh, no. Very well. What proposal? We're supposed to kill that guy. Oh, Maybe. God, you were serious? He spoke of the Pale Emperor. The Pale Emperor delves into powers that he should not. His rise to power was not a mere result of naked ambition and tactical strategy. What, did what he else do? did he do? He had lots and lots of money. No. He read a story he should not. A fable that gave him wisdom. Forbidden wisdom. So we should kill him because he read a book? No. Hmm. It is what he learned from that book. It's a cookbook. Can we read the book? If you wish to lose yourselves to madness. Hmm. I see why you chose the Joker first, then. I chose no one. Fate did. He stepped upon the stone. And so he was first before me. But he wished to return to you instead of hear what I had to say. But now that you have returned, I will offer the proposal. I'm going to flip the coin. All right, and everybody leaves. No! <laughs> oh! The shock of it. The what? shock of it. Durst just starts vomiting. Ah! Wait, See, what? I told you, Ocean Man's real. I don't want to hear the proposal. Goku. My stomach! Can I, can I see the coin? 
Yeah, I'll flip the coin. Flip the coin. All right. Everyone appears back in the realm. <laughs> and that is more or less all of it. God oh. damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to repeat that. Joker, please do not flip the coin. I am aware that was a joke. Oh. Well, I didn't think you were funny. I'm not going to lie. Many think doubt is not funny. Speak your truth, spirit. Very well. This realm of Glaeus, this continent, has an order to it. Its order is precise. There is an emperor, and each element gets its turn to lead. However, this time, ambition claimed the emperor's throne and broke the cycle. And as such, the world begins to unravel. It is exposed to terrible creatures released from the calamity that twist and contort the north is corrupted and soon it shall spread to the south. But in either case, even if this is prevented, it will not matter if there is not an emperor named. The wind has too long been denied its place. The time has come for a divine wind to blow. A child has been born with all the auspicious marks. But without the aid of those strong of body and mind and spirit, a child's destiny will be lost and Otami Kurozai will conquer what remains. My proposal is this. If you find the strength. Flip the coin. Okay. Ow! Go Damn it! What? Just flip the coin, Goker. Flip the coin. Gotta ask nicely. Just gotta ask nicely. At this point, Doubt has his arms crossed, waiting for you to get back, and then he will say, My proposal is this Seek the child and see him placed on his throne. Guide him, teach him, and keep him safe. It is a lot to ask for, and one that will require your commitment. But I have it within my power to aid you on this journey. If not, then at the very least, for your consideration, I will return you to the waking realm, and you may have the treasure that lies within this tower. Oh, um, the, the, the four beings that were all looking at the center of the waking world, um, what are they? Old friends. Okay, so, don't, no touchy? Please do not desecrate them. So we can touchy them, but no desecrate them? That, 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 that's that, that's near. Do not yeah. sell them. Damn it. Oh, okay. All right, now I can go out of character. This this is the um, in character, uh, one of the in character paths that lead to the main campaign. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so if it is something that you would like to consider, then we can discuss it. If not... You can move on forward and for the rest of this 
uh, campaign as if nothing had happened. But this is the game where one of the triggers for the Divine Wind campaign have been activated. I will now explain to you what that is. You don't have to make any decision now. In either case, it won't happen until after your campaign is done, but it is something to consider. So, I have a main campaign, uh, one of the main campaigns, I should say, and it is called uh, The Divine Wind. That campaign is intended for you to find uh, the Emperor destined to take the seat of the elements of the wind and rule Glaeus in the old way. However, Otame Kurozai, the Pale Emperor, will not allow such a thing to happen easily and will use his considerable strength, his spy network, and every piece of forbidden power that he has to stop you and to see the child's death. That is the campaign. However, there is one other thing that I must mention to you. That campaign is a serious time commitment. It is 85 sessions long. Oh, God. Holy shit. Let's do the math on that. That is a quick. year and a half. That's a year and a half. <laughs> so, to be clear, you are currently on episode four of your uh, prologue campaign. And it is delegated to last about 10 sessions. I have offered this campaign to others, and they have denied it for the most part. Um, you are the first group to reach the in-game character trigger, or one of them, I should say, that actually triggers it. So that means that you have a choice. After you finish this campaign, because no matter what your decision is, you'll finish this first. Um... You can transfer these characters into the main campaign, or you can make new ones if you wish. But if you choose to take it, the slot is yours. And you have until okay. the end of your campaign, or until somebody else takes it, to choose it. It is a major time commitment. I would suggest that you consider it carefully. But, if you have enjoyed yourself so far, and it is something that you wish to do, the offer is there. I see, but it doesn't switch our main campaign here, so just... No, you will still finish yeah. this campaign. That just right, means that right. if you choose to Bird. take that path, it will happen after. And you'll, you'll keep oh, going. Gotcha. Oh, wow. boy. Choices. Uh, and also, something else I should probably um, mention as well. Uh, my story design for this, game, uh, for this series of games this time around... Uh, is um, there are two main storylines, like two main story campaigns, and all the other games branch in and around those two games. So you'll be at the center of everything. You'll be, uh, you'll experience probably the most cameos. You'll be in hub of places where you can meet other characters from other campaigns, interact with them. That's the highest chance of it. And to be clear, your uh, your your sister group, the other long game, if you chose that game. The other long game, the second campaign that's 85 sessions, uh, Otikata's Curse, has already been uh, filled by the VTuber group. Ooh. Those pesky VTubers. I'll tell you what, man. But anyway, it is offered Ooh. to you because you... Oh, that's a choice, man. Damn. It is offered so... to you because you found the in-game trigger, so it is up to you. Damn. Yeah, we don't. Have to, we don't. Have to, do we have to pick now? Do no, 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 no. You can but take your time. We have till the end. No, we got. We got. You, you got. You got until the end of this campaign to choose. If you have any okay. questions, you can ask them, and I'll answer them. But sure. There you go. But for uh, for doubt, we can just. We, we just for for okay. So basically, um, doubt has given you his proposal, and he has offered to give you this treasure regardless of your choice. Because he is, his intention is that in character, you are to think it over. So essentially, you either take the treasure and run if you choose not to do it. Or, if you choose to do it, you will return to this temple after your adventures in Lost at Sea are done. Okay. And you will take up his offer. That makes sense. Yeah. So there you go. That's a bombshell. Wow. Yeah. We'll have to think that over. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just give wow. it the old think over. Not going to lie. I do love you guys.
that's just a that's just a it's a long I'd like campaign. To just, but I, man, I, I, I would I'd love I'd to. Like to I'd like to just stay friends, Ed. I Jesus. Really you know what? I told you that was a strong word. Can we just? <laughs> it's not a backstory we agreed upon. Oh as strong God. as Coots was earlier with those swinging ape arms. All right, and as such, the coin will fade and will shift back into its silver self. And now you are in the waking realm, the echoing words of doubt still within your mind. Well, that was a hell of a thing. I got to go to the bathroom. Be right back. Wow. Well, the coin. Whoo. I mean, we were just supposed to kill some fucking monkey, right? We, we saved, saved it. We the monkey. We saved it. I know. I know. We saved the monkey, but man, that was. Huh. You did say that there was treasure in here. I suppose you and Goker would want to look that over. Huh. No, That's I, a I, secret I, code. I, that is just now. It's not a secret. You said it out loud. <laughs> you have a secret code. Oh, don't worry about it. We have nothing. Uh huh. So what do we see? Uh, I, 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 oh wait, wait. We don't. We don't have our mod. We don't yeah, he went to the bathroom. The DMs uh, are quick. Find our okay, own treasures. Yeah, million Dallas. You see, it so uh, guys, I'm gonna take over real quick. So you see uh, multiple 64. treasure chests. All of them have locks on them. <laughs> Damn it. A switch controller that works. One, one, All this one. treasure. Sorry, who who put in the code one 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 one? Me. It Ten opened minutes immediately. Of silence. My God. <laughs> All this amazing things to use. Eight hours solid of straight sleep. No IBS for one day. Oh God. <laughs> Oh boy, eighty-five sessions. Jeez, that That's is a what big boy. That is to a be big... fair, Kurt. We're on what? We're on. Oh uh, well, sixty. Well, I will say this: we're in one sixty-four for the first campaign I've ever done. Oh. The second, so you, campaign, you know about what eighty-five would feel like, dude. I'm over a hundred right now with uh with yeah. Nick's campaign. It's just I'm. This is real. Truthfully, this is something to definitely think about it in yeah. and out of character. I love. I'm not gonna lie. I love this group. I, if I could get 85 sessions of this group, I would highly consider it. Mm. He wasn't. He wasn't skipping on the time commitment, though. No, he wasn't. Yeah, that, no, that was. Yeah, it's the it's the one question. It's like, okay, but what happens? One of us needs a week off. Is right. right? Mm -hmm. Although to be fair, I've seen him just like because uh, the Tuesday group they needed a week off, and it was just okay. Perfect. Hmm? Wild. Wild. I can't believe we triggered that. That's no, no, we didn't trigger that. Goker triggered that. Well, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, I can't believe we found this place that Goker then went I, into the circle I and saw, talked to this dude. I saw a comment in my comment section that said, "I can't believe Goker is the chosen one." Yep. I can't believe it's happened. <laughs> So, Goker, you're the chosen one. How do you feel? Well, it's great to be here. It's great to be, <laughs> it's the great to be here. <laughs> it's great to be here. Uh, what do you call this place? All right, I'm back. Sorry. Hi, welcome back. So, question. Yeah. We were promised treasure, and the treasure mm -hmm. hunters are hungry. <laughs> and I attempted to make a bullshit couple of treasure chests, but they didn't believe me, so I figure you have better things. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god. Oh, whoa! I had my Discord up blocking it. Sorry. Ah! Fucked up treasure. Durst just screams. I can't believe it was a, an illusion the whole time. Uh, hold on. I messed it up. <clears throat> okay. Well, you can now explore the tower. Those stairs Excellent. go up. Oh, we can go stairs? Would you like to go up the stairs? I would like to check for traps first. Okay. How do I do that? Check uh, perception. Uh, that's a perception check. Yep. Excellent. Seventeen. Oh wow. You do not detect any traps. Oh, I think we're safe to go. <laughs> we're on upstairs. 
Get that money. Get that money. Get that money. Making that sweet, sweet money. Alright. Okay. And as you go up there. Like bees with honey, I'm here for the money. Alright, you go up to the next floor. And then these fade because they're not there anymore. And then this will indicate that they are on the floor, not a different floor than you. Ooh. All right. So as you go up the stairs, you can see that this section of the tower is 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 grown over. A beautiful tree, a bonsai, in the center. Small rivets of streams can be seen flowing through. It's very beautiful, right? Yeah. The money should be here. This is not a conventional tower. Not many interiors have grass. Looking around for that. Anything shiny? Not in here. Keep going. We have to keep going. Okay. Stephen! You go up to the next floor. All right, you can see several rooms and walls. Sorry, I really like this map. He did a great job stacking these floors. This is really neat. Yeah. Okay, let's be very, very careful and try to take everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go around the corner here and uh, well, there's a first door actually right there. Okay. You approach this door, you can see that it's old and mildewed and dilapidated, hardly even he, functional. He decides to kick it in like a badass, even though he isn't really badass. All right. You kick the door, and it kind of opens ah. a little. Come on. All right, and inside you can see a chest stacked on top of an <gasps> old table. Oh, uh, that. Mm. Wah, wah. Get the money. Get that money. Mm -mm -mm. The Goker and Durst. I'm going to imagine Durst rubbing his hands right now. <laughs> okay. The money. As you open the chest inside, you will find that there are three small bags. The first bag contains jade. Oh. The second bag contains pearls. Oh. And the third bag contains onyx gems all right i get the pearls and the onyx you get the jade no 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 hold on hold, 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 hold. hear me out hear me out because i'm twice as big i hold on hear me that's true but hold on i take the jade you take the onyx and we let them all have the pearls so they don't complain that we have something because they have something too well, i have mm. an i have an idea yeah Let's take some of those pearls out of the pearl bag. And, you know, who knows how many were in there originally. I like the way you think. <laughs> All right. You guys perform some minor party theft. Uh, you can see in this area that there are a bunch of crates stacked against the southern uh, circular wall. And there appears to be a magical glyph still glowing with energy on a slightly raised platform in the easternmost section of the room. Look at this magic glyph. Don't touch it! You, you know what? Something shiny like that and magical is going to do something terrible if you touch it. That is true. I have a secret call to Stinkler, actually. I'll, 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 I'll learn him. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. I, I believe the Goker needs my help. <laughs> the Goker call. <laughs> Well, all right. What's going on, Goker? I heard the signal. There appears to be some kind of glyph. I know that you're an expert in these matters. Uh, let me take a closer peek. Yes. Arcana check. Oh, 
I can tell you exactly what this is, Joker. This is a map to the local dump tr the dump uh, facility landfill nearby. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it is a teleportation circle that you believe takes you up the next floor of the tower. You won't believe this, Goker. I was wrong initially. I took a closer look. In fact, I believe it teleports us further up the tower. Wow. <laughs> okay. So not a map to the dumpster. Well, I could be wrong about where it teleports us to. It could be to the landfill. Oh, that is good thinking. Well, technically, this is a ruined tower and everything's trash, so I guess he's not wrong, but... <laughs> uh, Durst is going to head out of the room mm -hmm. and actually go down the hallway and yeah. make a right down to the back, down to the room here in the corner, kind of open this other door by himself. Uh, you can see that this room has a bunch of barrels stacked on top of each other. Mmm, I am. Mmm, Durst. Oh, he has the thirst. Durst starts kicking the door. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. The door eventually gives way to your, just your rude beatdown. Mm. I knock on the barrels to see what's inside. All right, inside you can see that they are filled to the brim with wine. Well, I just hold, this little goblin's holding onto a giant barrel right now. Ah! <laughs> just hugging it right now, for right now. <laughs> He's happy and content. Alrighty. Goker, All right. Stinkler. I'll step on it and see where we go, Goker. Uh, okay. Oh boy! Oh, snap. Alright, so you find yourself on the next floor and you can see that there is a stairwell that goes further up there is a large cage which contains no animal and a even though faded a pretty well-fashioned alchemical laboratory here there is also a door here hmm. these chemicals I'm very familiar with these tools he must have been working on some kind of formula to revive someone, perhaps loved one? Interesting, interesting. Uh, can I open these doors? Yep, you can see that it leads you out to a small bridge, leading you right. to a smaller tower. Boys, can you hear me from up here? Okay, can I... Bob, can you hear me from up here? You hear Stinkler's voice. I can't hear you. Come outside. I'll go on the teleporter thing. What do you go through it? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just pretending to be further away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, good. What's in here? <laughs> Gotta aim where he's going, not where he is. Well, I think... I believe there's another door up here. As you, as you approach that door, you can see that there is an indention on the door where the silver coin goes. Well, I'm glad you're here, Goker. I believe that coin you carry goes to this door. Ah, yes. I'm gonna flip the coin. Nothing happens. The fuck? I'm gonna flip the coin again. Nothing happens. I'll try one more flip. Nothing seems to happen. Well, the coin has lost all power. <laughs> mm, that doesn't bode well. Maybe if we put it in the door, it'll reinvigorate its arcana. That's good thinking. I'm gonna place the coin in the door. The door opens, but the portal inside does not radiate magic. Now, do I still have the coin, or was that sucked into the door? You can pop it out. All right, I'll get the coin back. Oh, like a like a grocery cart. Got it. And I'm gonna flip the coin. Nothing seems to happen. 
I'm gonna let you down, go <laughs> Damn. Hmm. We need to find a way to get that teleporter working. I'll the door the begins to close on its own. What? Sealing itself shut again. Um... Is, is there, like, a book on this table or something? Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of books and tomes, all about alchemy. Can I do a perception check and see what they're about, or, like, what they're trying to do in here? Investigation. Oh, is that what that's called? Okay. Yep. With that investigation check, you can see that this particular area, uh, this alchemical laboratory, was focused on curing disease. My God. It's awful what they're doing in here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely what? blasphemous. I believe this staircase goes even higher. All right. Noise. You find yourself at the top of the tower, oh. uh, which may have been of whoever once owned this place. Their bedroom, a comfortable, nice bed. a comfortable looking if faded bed, can be seen at the end. And there is a large footlocker, and there is a chest to the south. I'm going on the bed. The bed is comfortable. I'm gonna try and open the chest. As you open the chest to the south, you will find that it has three potions in it. These potions, however, have golden toppers, and they are etched with silver in their labels. I found some very important potions, Goker, but we'll keep it a secret between us so that way no one tries to steal them from us. That's good thinking. Because some of these guys, you can't trust them. Yeah. Like Maury. I, I can trust you, though. I know that. <laughs> yep. I'm Did you find man. anything in the locker? Uh, let's open it up. All right, here we go. Uh, I'd like to point out, on the bottom floor, Maury sneezes. <laughs> uh, on, the on the on the on the on the third floor right now, uh, Durst is crying how happy he is to find a giant vat of wine. <laughs> He's finally going to get his crunk as he meant to be. <laughs> ah, I like it. All right, I like it too. As you open the trunk, Ooh, hold on. I'll mm -hmm. be right back. You don't have to wait. All right, as you open the trunk, magic radiates outwards towards you. Goker. And... Okay. One more. Okay. Alright. Inside the trunk, you find a staff. The staff appears to be gold and silver inlaid. And at the, at the top of the staff, the... Uh, the God, what is it called? The foci at the top of the staff. You can see that there is what appears to be the head of a gorgon. The woman with snake snake hair. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the gorgon call to Coots. Okay. Gorgon, Gorgon. <laughs> oh, Mori. Oh, um, I'll be right back. I, I, I think I gotta... Oh, God. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> all right. All the yep, 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 yep. Yep, nope. Oh, all right. God! <laughs> Teleporting. <laughs> Goker. I found the, uh, Gorgon staff, as we discussed. Well, obviously, I heard, you know, you made the Gorgon noise. I assumed you acquired the Gorgon staff, but I... Is, is, is this a troll? <laughs> no, no, it's real. See? It's, Show it's me. in there. Wow. And this is a level three staff, if I believe. If I'm, if I... Make an arcana I'm check if you would like to identify the staff. Definitely level three. Let me check here. Oh, <laughs> I think I have a better grip on whether level this is. Slightly. You both have no idea what this staff is. 
maybe like a level two and a half or something. I, I, the I words you were using have no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> it's too much made of balsa wood. <laughs> no meaning Elo whatsoever. Eloquent. Very eloquent staff. Wow, could I hold on to this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I think <laughs> editor's notes. It was not eloquent. Cooking, maybe. <laughs> what else is in here? Uh, you have already looted anything of value in the rest of this room. There All was that... nothing else in the rest of the tower. Just this. <laughs> we have a lot of rooms we haven't checked yet, actually. <laughs> yeah. But there will be nothing in those either. <laughs> Want a pearl? Can we, uh... Want a pearl in here? What? We should get the we should get the others in here. Oh yeah, let me call Maury up. Hey Maury, hey, what the fuck are you doing down there? Uh, Maury, if you're coming upstairs, you you're gonna see Durst like literally dragging two just like ah, dragging two giant barrels with both hands. Ah, ah. Hi Maury. Durst, what are you doing? I have found wine that has aged for so long that the sheer taste of it might send me into ecstasy. So, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Dragging them. Mori's going to walk past him. He'll go all the way upstairs. All right. Uh, eventually, Mori does his, uh, his, his own little montage of running up the stairs. <laughs> But I do it a lot cooler. Yeah, yeah, with like lots of posing and leaning. Yeah, yeah. And maybe my arms behind me because apparently that. Is, yeah, and there's like a is, soft jazz yeah. soundtrack playing. Hey, look, it's the Goker. Yes, Goker. I was just calling you up here because. Uh... Just, uh, there was, we found a staff. We found a Gorgon staff. Hmm. Can you do a check on this and see, uh, if it's level oh, yeah. two and a half or three? We had an <laughs> We're thinking level three. We're thinking yeah, level I three. Was, I thought Is there it was a way to appraise this? Two and, two and a half. It needs to be balsa wood ish. Let yeah. me take, let me take a peek at this staff. I Definitely balsa. Definitely balsa. Stinkler awakens. Oh, man. Yeah, is there a way to appraise? Ah, uh, yes, Arcana. Arcana, got mm -hmm. you. Nah, that's a four. Uh, let me let me show you how it's done. Yeah, please, if you wouldn't mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, you were saying, Coots. I've lost all of my ability to do sorcery. I suppose. Yeah. You did roll for Coots, by the way, not you. Ah, right. Of course. Let me show you what happens when I do it. Yeah, it was just the wrong character sheet. There. Ah, see, there. Classic Stinkler. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, with that Arcana check, you identify that this is one of the staves of fables. Specifically, it is the Gorgon's fable. As you reach out towards the staff, you twist the staff. And the Gorgon's snake hair opens their tiny mouths and hairs come out in such a fashion until finally it ends at the, hand, at, at the tip of a large painting brush. Yeah, the staff's a real piece of shit, unfortunately, but... Mm, oh well. uh, it's actually an artifact, but... <laughs> So, um, ah, level three, ah, so the, uh, ah, Durst comes up the stairs with lugging the two th barrels. Ah, ah. Bloody hell are you guys doing? Oh, we're, uh, looking at this staff right now. Um, Jesus. That is, uh, do you want me to inspect, like, can I detect what it is? Oh, I'm going to explain what it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Just got so, it. so the, oh. uh, the staff is as i said it is one of the staves of fables 
and this one is particularly the Gorgon's Fables. These mighty staves, not staves, not only have the ability to enhance anyone's spellcasting that's wielding them in several different ways, but they can be used to create fables. Fables in Glaeus are more than just mere stories. Fables are, re uh, are recreations of historical moments. You can even reveal things that happened that no one else knows about because you are actually replaying the event, even if the author does not know about it. These are the prime weapons, tools of the historians of Glaeus. It is rumored that a staff of fables can even rewrite reality around you when one has mastered it enough. One of you guys should use the staff and make a treasure. I can do that. Okay. Unfortunately, Remember Stinkler... Remember to make it a million, million dollars. Unfortunately, Stinkler, as, as confident as you are, this stave requires a certain amount of worthiness. You're not high enough level to use it. Yeah. I love the trash. It's not enough. Someone take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's level three. I don't know if you're ready for that yet. Curses. But you do have it. Would Pull you like? Again. Would you like to identify the potions you have? That yeah. Awesome. How do I do that? Uh, well, Arcana dude, checks. No, yeah, uh, Arcana check that, check. check that over there in the hall. Ooh. Nice, Stinkler. Oh, right. Come on, Maury. Uh, with a 19, this is what you're able to determine. These are three potions of Revivify. Revivify? Oh. That's nice. Oh. Like, revi oh, like just Here reviving we straight up? Uh, correct. If I change it. Uh, well, they are potions of Revivify, which means that if you use them on someone who has died... Within one round, you can bring them back to life. Mm -hmm. Is this like when you die and you use a regular potion, they come back? Or like if you die, die, like you miss... No, die, time. die. Mm -hmm. Revivify like can you bring you back death from death. And you're done. Yeah, Revivify can bring you back from death, not from downing. And who's holding him right now? I am. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's too good. Yeah. How many of those are there? I want to drink one. Three there. of them. Mmm, I bet those would be good. Those are very tasty and expensive. No, arcade and wine. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Uh, One tastes like eggnog. He's got a taste for it now. He's ah! got a taste for it. Well, maybe we should split it up amongst the three of us. Five of us. No, 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 no. no. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on. What we need to do is a full inventory of this tower. All right, there's a lot of rooms I didn't even get into yet. They're clearly going to have some fun stuff. I got two giant suckers of wine. Ah, I'm feeling great right now. I think How we should exactly... leave the tower. How exactly are you going to take those barrels with you, Durst? Oh, my God. What if we put a potion in the barrel? Drink the whole barrel. And I think you mean pour would... the potion in there and just drink the whole barrel? Yeah. <laughs> then you would, then you would have diluted a very expensive potion to the point of inefficacy. So, might I, I recommend would... if we want to maybe use some of the empty potion bottles that we have at this point? If we want to take some alcohol in that. Oh, that's fine. There's plenty of empty potion oh, bottles. Yeah, that that would be if we want to in game have some kind of drink like. Yeah, that. if you would like to create some. Uh, some jury-rigged wine bottles. There are six. I'll give you eight. There's eight usable vi uh, usable potion bottles in the alchemist laboratory. So you can get eight bottles of crunk if you'd like. Mori is going to hand one of the bottles to Durst. I would recommend using these if you are insistent on taking that beverage with you. Listen, I don't know how rare this is. Okay? This could be one-of-a-kind wine, and I could sell it to some dumbass for a lot of money. Because apparently so, when There's something cooks... More. What? There's seven more bottles. Oh, I could kiss you Hold if on. I could climb that high. 
I'm gonna wait outside. I I don't drink unless it's sewage. Uh, you start. You see him starting to like pour, like pretty much pop a hole, in the bottom, trying like dropping it in there. <laughs> I got barrels in there. I got wine. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We can't take the barrels though. I'll buy that off you. No, no, no. You can. Hey, here's the thing. Here's I give you thing. some of the treasure we found. <laughs> Man, wait till we check out the other rooms. <laughs> I will wait with Stinkler for you to be done. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with uh, them outside too. I, I okay, get nervous uh, about treasure. Okay, okay. Um, do you wanna do you want to pick this pick this damn tower clean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. As you pick the cow, the, the the rest of the tower clean, you're able to find four silver ingots and a satchel of gold coins. Uh, 600 gold pieces. I pan ran out of ink of all times. You're a terrible merchant. I am. You need a backup pen. <laughs> you need a backup pen. Surely you don't go anywhere without your backup pen. What would you do about the ledger then? Should you run out of ink? Are you talking to me right now, or what? No, above game, I mean. <laughs> I, no, I legit ran out of ink in my pants. No. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess well, it's just getting right down my notes now. You have a so, second pen, don't you? No! You have a pencil? What the, what year do you think I live in? Time to cut your finger open, buddy. It's, it's only true. Left. I side Joe Bob it. Okay. That is what you're able to find in the tower, though. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No, that'll that that'll that'll do for right now. I think for me. Alrighty. Uh, if you need notes, you can also use your token. If you double click on your token and go to the notes section, you can uh, put stuff in there. That's where all your equipment and stuff is stored. Hmm. Uh, while they're coming back out, I'm gonna turn to Coots and Stinkler. That creature you heard, Coots, it was in this direction we're about to head, correct? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely right around this part. Um, and really big and really scary, and I don't really want to fight it, but if we got it, we got it. It sounds like we're going to have to walk right past where it was, so everybody be on high alert. Alrighty. Right. We will venture forth, I suppose. Very well. If the par Does the party choose to venture forth? Yeah. So be it. Uh, we are done. Even, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. And as the party gathers themselves up and they move towards the center of the strange jungle labyrinth, that is where I will have to call it for tonight. Woo! Woo! Hey, we found a lot of good stuff. We just got to level up. <laughs> it was a loop. Yo, that was a interesting. So it, was, it was six silver ingots, six hundred gold pieces. The staff. Three revivifies. Four Three still. Revivifies. Four, oh, I thought it was four silver ingots. No, oh, no. it was four. It, it was four. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I did get that right. Damn. Four silver ingots and six hundred gold. Yep. Four silver ingots, six hundred gold. Got it. Okay. I think I may have yeah. said two earlier, but it was supposed to be four mm -hmm. anyway. I'm pretty sure it was four. It doesn't matter. It's four. Alrighty. Damn, that was fun. Hope you guys had a good time tonight. Yeah. yeah God, that fight was intense. That legit worked me. I got so stressed. Nice. I just feel a bit dumb. What do you mean? Or what? Oh, oh for two on my first two rolls after the oh, frost. Oh, dude, I'm ro we were all rolling Nothing. garbage. At the oh end. man, that's part of the game, man. Yeah, you roll bad, you roll bad. Thank God, my spells for healing don't require that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you we have to roll for how much health we get. That's true, but even then, like I was honestly that we were getting, we were getting like it was like the we cool of mana work. tapping. Yeah. Like, it's bad. Well, that's why I was glad we got that long rest because now we mm -hmm. got our spells back for if we have to fight this snake thing. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and get things set up. It's time for fan art. Hell art yeah. Time. Yeah, sorry to 
I always feel kind of bad sometimes when I drop something huge like that. But, you know, it did trigger naturally, so. <laughs> it's your show, man. And yeah, that, I know. Uh, I, I just... and that, that genuinely it, that genuinely surprised me. And I was sitting there going, huh. Interesting. All right. And uh, here we go. Fan art time. Let's do it. Somebody made me in the Metopia demo. All right. That's scarily accurate. That is pretty good. Uh, we've got fucking like Japanese poster style uh, Stinkler Smellgore. Noise. Yes. <laughs> amoebas. Tossing amoebas. <laughs> I was beatboxing before the uh, stream started and <laughs> they <laughs> it's pretty good. Stream in progress. Wreck -a -wreck -a -round. Uh, if Stinkler had a child with a Gekoi, that is that is cute. That is a lot <laughs> happening. Yeah. <laughs> Try to stand by. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Coots and Maury flying in the sky. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, God. These are the leeches. <laughs> the blood yep, father, accurate. the gouger, the hound. It's the Sanguine Cartel. <sighs> Let's never run into them again. They're gonna Those guys scared. are going to come back. They're <laughs> coming back for me, man. Well, that's a really cool Mori. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I like the facial hair. I just got back, so if I missed any Stinkler, I'm super sorry. I'm sure it oh, was fantastic. It's Stinkler the Putrid of and oh, the yeah. Goker, baby. Yeah. I forgot I got a guitar. Oh, I love the guitar. The guitar oh. is as big as he is. It's like a baby. That's cute. Mm. Love it. I'm fucking huge. I'm so ripped. Yeah, you are. Like deltoids. Oh, man. That's badass. Hey. Oh, yeah. I you guys this, are, this was so good. You guys in combat. Want to hear it, Joe? I love it. I got a... Oh, look, an Sorry. animatic. Up. Oh, you know what that means. It's called a sucky situation. Sure. Doctor, don't, don't look down. Well, that's, no, no, that's don't, don't do it. All right. I'm looking you see, Goker, you can look down. It will terrify you, though. Ah! Yep, 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 yep. That's a lot of leeches. Oh, no. Maybe they like leeches. <laughs> Um, Goku, don't look behind you either. A harrowing wind begins to blow. I'm gonna use it. talk to animals. Uh, on what, what animal? On the zombies? I'm gonna try to talk to the leeches. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, here we go. Yes, this is here gonna we work. go. Here we go. That's it's a great hey, idea. Okay. Can, I, can I interest you in leaving? Yeah, what do you want? Hey, uh... I think you guys got enough blood off of me. Uh, could you? Could nah, you we ain't got enough blood. We ain't got enough blood. We're too thin, Holmes. What about uh? I got some. I got some other guys that you're gonna like. Oh yeah? Nope. Are they in my mouth right now? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got some other guys. <laughs> oh man, that's great. It's just the end part. Oh, it's just war. Oh, so great. Coots, happy that the fight is well. The Goker knocked out due to falling damage. There you go. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh! Previously, well, oh, we got a, we got another animatic. Oh wow, oh, what? Man. Cool. I haven't seen this one. Previously, on Lost at Sea. All right, you grab Coots <laughs> and you pick him up to throw him okay, and miss. Go grab <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> This went there. poorly. Oh. Oh. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh. I, oh. Uh, you will watch more. Cut the head off of this zombie. Glare at you very angrily. Stick. <laughs> uh, mold earth under Coots lifting him. All right, you're able to lift up Coots uh, out of the sludge. Slightly above the top of his ammo. 
I hit him with a healing word. Healing word goes off. Go ahead and roll healing word for me. Absolutely. Come on, baby. Six. Hey, Coots, you're healed for six. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Yeah, that, was... <laughs> that that lick on his eye fucking killed me. Yeah, the... the little... <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was great. Wow, oh, Maury! You're, you're so cool! I love... I know. Their dynamic <laughs> I love Coots and Maury. I know. Oh, man. I know. I'm Coots. I'm having a great time. Yep. That's some Team that's Titans cock. Coots right there. <laughs> oh, I love the staff. And there's He's one. Be the avatar, guys. I will slice them in twain. Yo. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Jared, if you cast the spell of, of aim. Oh, shit. Dang. That's a crazy Ooh. looking Amori. Oh, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's your guys' turn to get the silhouetted faces. Whoa, that's... Okay, that's Wonderful. creepy. Yeah, that's Coots. Stinkler. Mm. The oh, Goker. Oh, oh, God, the Goker gets eyes. <laughs> no, no, getting eyes is funny. Oh no. <laughs> nice. 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 Coot salute. Coot seven. <laughs> oh my god, somebody drew Coots as a JoJo character. Oh my god. That's oh, really that's fucking that's good, that's good that's dude. Insane. Except wow. are all those punches whiffing? <laughs> Queen air. It's his practice swings. Dude, I didn't <laughs> want you to take after me that much. <laughs> Coots drinks the frost giant potion. I learned it from watching you, literally. Well, I just feel bad. Oh, Damn I'm it. sorry. <laughs> Get up! It's great to be back. Wow, what a wonderful audience. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the whole yeah. time that he was in like the other plane, he was just trying to do a stand up routine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give me that mean Gene Macho man. Damn. I... Okay. <laughs> Whoa. That is a really cool frosted up coots. I love the room. Yeah. yeah, that's hype. That's hype. yeah. Really cool to see like that expanding upon what you already have. It's oh real. yeah. <laughs> oh god, not this scene from Cell versus <laughs> Cell versus Trunks. Such, such a, a trans. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I'm here. So just like I'll do. Such a transformation is nothing as you can see. He just missed. Ha ha ha! My perfect form, Coots. You cannot touch it. Oh, very cool. Guys, he saw it on the tag. Uh -oh. Weak too cold. Weak too cold. Hmm. Oh, we got a nice waifu, baby. What's wrong, y'all? Y'all got no Atari? <laughs> <laughs> Holding up a gun? What the? It's oh, a joystick. Yeah. Uh, strength. Too much. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's huh. that's all right. I thought of it like as a yep. like a chopper transformation. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, Swinging them nice. big old late arms. <laughs> okay, I need that. Somebody I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that gift. Do I have a Hawaiian shirt on? Yeah, he's just <laughs> chilling. It's just, he's, he's, he's on vacation. If you like pina colada... Oh, Wake the fuck up, samurai! <laughs> You're breathtaking, too! Stinkler summoned a frost booba stand. Dude, Stinkler was cool. Hey. I like that. Mori. Stinkler. Oh, yeah. Coots. 
Oh, these are so cute. Buff coots. Cute. cute hard to know. <laughs> <clears throat> Wake up! No, not reality! God! <laughs> Uh. Oh shit! Oh man, that. All right, uh, Moist Critical, you got a piece of fan art from one of the big three. Uh oh, Magic Ooh. Fire. Uh oh. Oh, it's so Ooh. sick, dude! It's so oh, sick, God. bro! Dude. Oh man! Oh man! I demand to know how many hours this took you because it could have uh, been more than like three. That took her like 30 it, minutes, dude. That's how fast what? she was. That it, it, had to, it had to be less than two hours because this was like towards the end of our that was, Yeah, that was one of the last things that happened. She, she posted. Crazy. It's Holy currently 10.54. She posted it at 9.25. How? That's how? Frameable. That's frameable shit, too. Yeah. That's nuts. That's, that's oh, what God. magic does, dude. That's what magic does. She She's legendary for how fast she is. That's why she's one of the big three. God, it looks so good. Yeah, but you can't do one by the time we're done with the art. No, she probably could. Don't. <laughs> Leech Mafia. You're members of a sinister gang called the Leech Mafia. You use pizza cutter on plants and schemes. All right. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks Irish. It's on their clothes. Strong coots equals small psych Sakuno? Sakuna. Sakuna. It's yes, from Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, okay. Mm. Hey guys! Oh my god! He's so uh, big! Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, that's just me transforming into Stinkler. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a trash potion or something next. <clears throat> Your jokes have no effect on me. My jokes have no effect on him. Shove. <laughs> <laughs> my jokes have no effect fine fuck you then. had to do it to him you know you hate to see it oh well okay all right okay all right Sam. Ooh. Uh, all right evie um, my girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i see you evie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Princess looking real i nice. saw a beast to the northeast of here did it have any guns <laughs> No, but Coots has some. Oh, look at yeah. those. Glub, glub, glub. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Oh, my. <laughs> Aww. So tiny. That was really good. Oh, man. That's pretty sick. Hey. That's, that's badass. Good. Damn. People are shipping, bro. I've heard rumors. What does it say? What could it mean? That's Irish. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, people keep drawing the Goker way differently from every other one. It's crazy it's how much he changes. It's really neat to see the artist interpretation each time. Oh, man. Yes. Whoa. Give it oh, to me. Oh, that line art, man. Give it to me. <laughs> one of these days, miss. Can't catch a break, miss. Low roll. <laughs> Hey, I did good today. I started off real nice. Yeah, no, I, I didn't want bad. to hear it. Mm, licky, lick, 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 lick. <laughs> <laughs> that circle is around me, guys. It's true. Oh man, thanks. Oh my I god. Like charcoal. Yeah, it's charcoal. It's crazy. Um, why did you challenge magic? We didn't Why? know, but she had already she had actually done two pieces during the session. She Why? posted this at nine fifty seven. Goker meeting the shroud. Goker Dang. meeting doubt. Jesus, Damn. dude! Okay. All right, magic. Listen. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, what the hell? That boys, that's a twenty two minute difference. Okay, but I bet you can't do it a third time. What? That's uh, a bad challenge to send out, I'll tell you what. Yeah, you're gonna kill him. Hey. Look like a, one of those little titans, you know? Yeah. Heads. Fuck tear. All my homies hate tear. <laughs> <laughs> All my homies hate <laughs> <laughs> Fuck tear. Coots looking through the hedges. That's pretty cool. Mm. Why do they keep drawing you on vacation? I don't. 
I don't know. They're like, man, I'm just too cool to even be in my normal outfit, I guess. You're too serious. I said I said Hawaiian vacation more, and everyone's like, you know, that should be a thing, yeah. Apparently. <laughs> that is a sick Goker, dude. I love that. Mm -hmm. Especially with the coin. Yeah. He's now he's Two-Face. Flip keep flipping the coin. Seek the child and keep him safe. I'll flip a coin. <laughs> well, Evie did a picture of doubt. <laughs> the cat. The name of that file is press X to doubt. That's funny. Excellent. Don't do it, Goker. Don't flip the coin. Don't. No. <laughs> Never misses, kinda. Shut up! I mean, great art, but shut up! Cross Bay. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks like something out of the Bin 10 Omnitrix. Oh my god. Aww. That More. is a much different Frost. That's uh, a different, different party waifus that have existed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my personal favorite shit post so far. This was... <laughs> 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 That's pretty great. <laughs> Unarmed <Anyways>. strike. <laughs> yep. Let doubt finish his speech. Flip the coin. P.S. Please. No. Nope. Skipping past that. <laughs> nope. It's not happening. Stop it, well. chat. Yeah, I did lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. He apologized. I got that barrels was of wine, bro. <laughs> Ah, that's a lot of it's, mushrooms. It's having a copper mare. Oh, another sweet stinkler. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! You just gotta respawn her and elope. Look at look look. look <laughs> why is this one such like a cute stinkler? He's just just a guy, you know. Your love yeah. will make her melt. Party loot, very good. Ah, X. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's the right level of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, there's your gender bent stinkler. Ooh. Hey. Now we're cooking. She big. Okay. Hey, <laughs> now we're cooking. I'm the Goker. That's a really good Goker, dude. Oh, man. Holy shit. Whoa. Really evil looking. That one's. Now it's crazy. Incredible shadowing. Juiced up coots. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, it's like the Ganondorf it. attack and smash. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how I have a scythe here. Stinkler the astute knows the staves. Ah, that is a plus three. Yes. Ah, interesting. I, oh, eight. I see the potion. Chaos. Oh my god, Math Reds did juiced up coots, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, pretty <laughs> That's a form transfer. They drew one of the statues. Oh, Ooh. cool. That's cool. Chaliang accepted. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Who drew that? That's magic. Excellent. Magic? I give you props. That's well done. A quick third. That's well done. Yeah. That's exactly what I would have done in your situation because that's about as well as I can draw. So, well done. Thanks, guys, for all the fan art. <laughs> Thanks, guys, yeah, for yeah, playing in my sense. games, man. Hey, thanks for having us, man. Yeah. Course, man. Thanks, thanks guys. It means, it means so much to me that you guys are playing. It really does. No, thank uh, you for having us, and thank you for because this is your third game on Mondays, right? Uh, second, I but I also have like meetings and stuff.